Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. Subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Let's start. Which new definition was included in the Motor Vehicle Amendment Act of 2019? So, the aggregator's definition was included in the Motor Vehicle Amendment Act of 2019. Why this was done? To regulate the shared mobility services. So, what is the meaning of this term, aggregators? So, these are the shared mobility services. For example, Ola, Uber. So, these cab services are aggregators. Which country is set to impose a new competition regime next year to curb the dominance of Google and Facebook? So this was decided by UK. To be specific, it was decided by CMA. What is CMA? It is Competition and Markets Authority of UK. So it is the competition regulator in UK like we have CCI that is Competition Commission of India. Chandrabhaga Beach which is the venue of International Sand Art Festival is located in which state? So this beach is in Odisha and this is the location of Sand Art Festival. Odisha was also in use because of Konark Festival and this is organized in the backdrop of Sun Temple in Konark. Now this Chandra Bhaga beach was the first beach in Asia to get blue flag certification. Dilli Chalo is the name of protest being held by which category of people in India? So it is related to farmers protest as farmers are protesting against the agriculture laws. In this context, there was one place which was in news and it is Nirankari ground. So it is a place of protesters and this is in Delhi. Now, why farmers are protesting? They fear that the new laws, if implemented, will dismantle the MSP, that is minimum support price. Which state debarred its MLA, that is member of legislative assembly and former IPS officer Lal Dhuma from its state assembly? So, right answer is Mizoram. Recently, he was debarred from the state assembly of Mizoram. Why this was done? So, he was elected as independent candidate. However, he declared himself as a representative of ZPM. ZPM is the name of political party. It stands for Joram People's Movement. So, he was elected as independent and he declared himself as a representative of ZPM. And that is why he was debarred under anti-defection law. Which country has approved two anti-rape ordinances which include chemical castration of rapists? So this was done by Pakistan. Prime Minister of Pakistan is Imran Khan. So these ordinances contains the provisions for special court, special prosecutors and in-camera trials. Recently, Pakistan was also in news because of FATF, that is Financial Action Task Force. The headquarters of FATF is in OECD Secretariat. Which region of India is the most polluted in the country as per a recent study by CPCB and IIT Delhi? So, it is Indo-Gangtic Plain. Recently, a study was conducted by CPCB, that is Central Pollution Control Board and IIT Delhi. The CPCB is under Ministry of Environment, Forest and climate change. So as per this study, in terms of 2.5 pm level, Indo-Gantic Plain is the most polluted. The study also found that air pollution in rural areas is increasing similar to in urban areas. India signed an agreement for the cooperation in the field of hydrography with which country? So this country is Vietnam and this agreement was signed during the recent conference held between India's Defense Minister and Vietnam's Defense Minister. Now the capital of Vietnam is Hanoi. Recently, Hanoi declaration was in news. It is related to East Asia summit. So after the summit, this Hanoi declaration was adopted. And from Indian side, our external affairs minister S. Jayashankar participated. Which organization released guidelines on physical activity and sedentary behavior? So this was recently released by WHO. As per this recent guidelines, at least 152 300 minutes of moderate to vigorous aerobic activity per week is recommended for all adults. The problem is that because of our present day lifestyle, most of the time we don't even move and that can have harmful impact on our body. So that's why WHO 
released these new guidelines. India has slashed the import tax for which commodity from 37.5 to 27.5. So this is crude palm oil. Why this was done? This was done to reduce the food inflation. So how reduction in import tax will reduce food inflation? See, when we import this palm oil, this much tax is imposed by the government. So obviously, more the tax, higher the cost. And therefore, the entire cost will increase. Which city has become the world's most air-connected city as per AITA, that is International Air Transport Association. So it is Shanghai. Previously it was London, but now it is Shanghai. It is in China. Now what is this AITA? It is International Air Transport Association. The headquarters is in Montreal in Canada and it was established in 1945. Giant Meter Wave Radio Telescope is located in which Indian state? So this telescope is in Maharashtra. Why it was in news? It was in news because of IEEE. And what is IEEE? It is Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. So it is US based technical organization. And recently it granted, that means this IEEE granted the status of milestone to this radio telescope. And it is third facility to receive the status of milestone in India. The first two are the works of Sir C. V. Raman and Sir J. C. Bose. The union government has decided to forego interest on eight categories of loan up to what amount on the account of COVID-19. So for loan up to 2 crore rupees, the central government has decided to forego the interest on the specified category of loan up to 2 crore rupees. Which method of COVID-19 testing developed by CSIR CCMB without viral transport medium has been approved by ICMR? So it is dry swap RT-PCR. Now there are a lot of acronyms in this question. So CSIR is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. CCMB is Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology and it is in Hyderabad. Hualong One, which was in news, was the first domestically made nuclear reactor of which country? So it is the first domestically made nuclear reactor of China. Name is Hualong One. Recently, China was in news because of RCEP, that is Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. So it is a trade agreement. India is not a party in this agreement. Which word has been selected as the top word of 2020 by Merriam Webster? So it is pandemic. So Merriam Webster selected pandemic as the top word of 2020. On the other hand, Cambridge selected quarantine as word of year and Collins selected lockdown as word of year. Which country passed a bill to boost the nuclear activity after the assassination of nuclear physicist? So this is Iran. Recently, the nuclear scientist of Iran was assassinated and he was Mohsin Fakhrizadeh. So he was recently assassinated. And now Iran passed a bill to boost the nuclear activity. Iran was also in news because of JCPOA. OA. It is Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. So informally, it is also known as Iran Nuclear Deal. And few months ago, USA exit from this Iran Nuclear Deal. So this deal was signed to prevent Iran from making nuclear weapons. Which country hosted the fourth India-Sri Lanka-Maldives trilateral meeting on maritime security cooperation? So this was hosted by Sri Lanka. In fact, Sri Lanka was also the host of BIMSTEC Summit. The headquarters of BIMSTEC is in Bangladesh. Now coming back to this fourth India-Sri Lanka-Maldives trilateral meeting. So in this meeting, from Indian side, our NSA, that is National Security Advisor, Mr. Ajit Dobhal, participated. Which insurance company is set to be merged with ICICI Lombard General Insurance Company? So it is Bharti AXA General Insurance. Recently, IRDAI, that is Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India, approved this merger. Now, recently, IRDAI was also in news because of G. Srinivasan Working Group Committee. So, this committee was set up by IRDAI to study the suitability of surety bonds. Technical recession 
refers to the contraction of GDP for how many consecutive quarters. So it refers to the contraction of GDP for two consecutive quarters. And GDP of India has contracted by 7.5% in the second quarter. In the first quarter, it contracted by 23.9%. So it is back to back consecutive contraction. And that is why it is said that India is in technical recession. Hayabhusa 2, which was in news, is a spacecraft of which country? So it is a spacecraft of Japan. Recently it was in news as it is approaching Earth after a journey from asteroid Raigu. So it collected a sample from this asteroid and now it is coming back to Earth. It is a spacecraft of Japan. Which state received the best state award for organ donation by the health ministry for the sixth consecutive year? So it is state of Tamil Nadu. Every year on November 27th, the organ donation day is celebrated and this was 11th organ donation day and Tamil Nadu is the best state in terms of organ donation and transplantation for the sixth consecutive year. Petrodava Dacians Fortress is a famous archaeological landmark located in which country? So it is located in Romania. Now why it was in news? Because recently a metal monolith disappeared from Utah in USA and later a more or less similar structure was spotted in Romania near this fortress. The world's loneliest elephant from Pakistan, Kawa, has been shifted to which country? So the elephant has been shifted to Cambodia. Why it was why it was done? Actually, Kawa is the only Asian elephant in the Pakistan, and rest of the elephants are African. So the elephant is considered as the world's loneliest elephant, and that is why the elephant was shifted from Pakistan to Cambodia. Mount Simeru is an active volcano in which country? So it is an active volcano in Indonesia and it is the highest mountain on the island of Java. So this Mount Simeru is also known as Mahameru means the great mountain. Apart from that one more mount was in news and it was Mount Ili Livtolok. So recently it was in news because of hot volcanic eruptions. This is also in Indonesia. The first ever SEO online exhibition that has commenced recently was centered on which theme? So it was centered around shared Buddhist heritage. So this was the main theme of this first ever SEO online exhibition. What is SEO? It is Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The headquarter is in Beijing. It is in China. Total eight countries are the members of SEO out of which four are Central Asian countries except Turkmenistan. And four are Russia, China, India and Pakistan. India Pakistan became the members of SCO after Astana summit in 2017. TOPS scheme is implemented by which ministry? So it is implemented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. What is TOPS? It is target Olympic podium scheme and this is implemented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. So the idea is to provide the support to the athletes for the upcoming Olympic Games through the scheme. Present Minister of Youth Affairs and Sports is Kiran Rizuzu. Recently he was in news because he launched Fit India Youth Club. Now recently Fit India movement was in news as Kuldeep Hando was appointed as the ambassador of Fit India movement. Kuldeep Hando is the first Dronachari Awardi from Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. He is Wushu coach. Which regulator has launched an asset restructuring web module for MSME and the name of this module is ARM MSME. So it has been launched by SIDBI. So recently it was in use because it will help MSME entities to get the benefit from restructuring guidelines issued by Reserve Bank of India. So it will provide support to different MSME entities so that they can get the benefit of restructuring guidelines issued by Reserve Bank of India. Which state has implemented a triple P that is public private partnership model for rescue and rehabilitation of leopards. So this has been done by Gujarat. Recently, Shakarbag Zoological Park was in news because the leopards were in conflict with humans. So now the government of Gujarat decided to collaborate with Reliance Industries Limited. And the name of this initiative is Greens Zoological Rescue and Rehabilitation. 
which country has proposed a new security bill that intends to protect the police officers from online violence. So this has been done by France. Now what is this new bill and why people are protesting against it? So as per the new proposed bill, it is an offense to show the face or the identity of any police officer on duty with an intention to damage the integrity of that particular officer. Now that would be a criminal offense. Which award is given to the individuals for their sustained and significant efforts to protect the environment? So the name of this award is Goldman Environmental Prize and every year it is given to six individuals. Apart from this prize, one more prize was in use and it is Global Teacher Prize. So recently, a teacher from Maharashtra won it and he is Ranjit Singh Disley. So he is a teacher from Maharashtra and he won this Global Teacher Prize and therefore he won 1 million US dollars. Deep Dipavali's festival was celebrated in which Indian city? So it was celebrated in Varanasi. Now, the Prime Minister attended the event and Prime Minister was also in news as he announced that idol of Ma Annapurna will be brought back to India. Now, what is this entire story? See, this idol of Ma Annapurna is 18th century idol and it is carved in Banaras style. Ma Annapurna is goddess of, goddess of food. So, this idol was stolen and later it was found in Canada. Now, it is brought back from Canada to India. So, it was stolen in 1913. Which PSU, that is Public Sector Undertaking, has delivered a cryogenic propellant tank to ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization. So, this has been done by HAL, that is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And it has delivered this cryogenic propellant tank. It is C32 LH2. So, this will be used in GSLV MK3 launch vehicle. So this is launch vehicle. This is cryogenic propellant tank. It has been delivered by HAL. Now HAL is under MOD, that is Ministry of Defense. The headquarters of HAL is in Bangalore. Which country has detected avian influenza outbreak and decided to cull over 1 million chicken? So this decision has been taken by Japan. Actually this avian influenza was discovered at a poultry farm in Hayuga city and this is in Honshu Island. Recently Japan was also in news because of SCRI. It is supply chain resilient initiative. So India, Japan and Australia are the part of this initiative. Which Indian bank co-launched a contactless debit card along with Japan's JCB International. So SBI along with JCB International of Japan launched this contactless debit card. And this card has been launched on Rupe network. Now recently, Japan was in news because of few other events. It was in news because of 2 plus 2 dialogue. It was in news because of Quad, that is Quadrilateral Security Dialogue. The most recent meeting of Quad held in Japan in Tokyo. And Tokyo Summer Olympic Games are going to be in 2021. Tokyo is the capital of Japan. In which year did China launch its MPCS? one belt and one road initiative so this was launched in 2013 now why it was in news because recently there was a co summit that is shanghai cooperation organization summit and during that summit of council of heads of government all the members of sco except india reaffirmed their support for obor that is one belt and one road initiative of china india is critical of obor in fact this cpec that is China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is also a part of OBOR and it passes through Indian territory. When is the International Day for the Abolition of Slavery observed every year? So it is observed on 2nd of December. Now 2nd of December is also observed as National Pollution Control Day and this is observed in the memory of those who lost their lives in Bhopal gas tragedy. So this day that is National Pollution Control Day is observed to spread awareness about the environmental pollution. Now, Bhopal is in Madhya Pradesh and this gas tragedy was because of methyl isocyanate and it was on the night of December 2nd and December 3rd in 1984. Pals Nehi, that is Child Friendly Police Station was inaugurated in which Indian city? So, it was inaugurated in Pune. Pune is in 
Maharashtra. So this is a child friendly police station so that cases can be reported in a friendly environment and they do not feel intimidated because of the police environment. Now recently Pune was also in news because of Sayam app. So this app has been launched by Pune Municipal Corporation. Defense Geoinformatics Research Establishment is the new lab of which organization? So it is the new lab of DRDO that is Defense Research and Development Organization. It is under MOD that is Ministry of Defense. So this new lab that is Defense Geoinformatics Research Establishment was set up after merging two existing laboratories. One is SASE and second one is DTRE. Now what is this DTRE? It is Defense Terrain Research Establishment. So this is Delhi based institution and second one is SASE that is Snow and Avalanche Studies Establishment. So this was Manali based institution. Wolf Brigade 44 is associated to which country? So it is associated to Germany. Recently Germany banned this Wolf Brigade 44. So this was a far right group which openly pledged loyalty to Adolf Hitler. In which state the first ever virtual edition of Adi Mahotsav was celebrated? So it was celebrated in Madhya Pradesh. Adi Mahotsav is tribal festival. Present Minister of Tribal Affairs is Arjun Munda. And this tribal festival that is Adi Mahotsa was hosted by Tribes India. Now recently Madhya Pradesh was also in news as state government decided to form Cow Cabinet. It was also in news because of its three year roadmap for Atam Nirbhar Madhya Pradesh. What is the new name for Libra cryptocurrency? So the new name is DM. In Latin it means day so it is a cryptocurrency of facebook recently facebook was in news because of whatsapp as it launched disappearing message feature for whatsapp whatsapp is an entity of facebook which countries rubber plantations have been recently affected by leaf fall disease so this is thailand and as per some media reports this disease has the potential to spread in india as well capital of thailand is bangkok in fact, the establishment of ASEAN is based on Bangkok Declaration which was signed in 1967. ASEAN is association of Southeast Asian nations which organization is to finance 430 million US dollars to improve the power distribution network of Uttar Pradesh. So this is ADB that is Asian Development Bank. So this money will be provided to improve the quality of electricity supply in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Recently, Uttar Pradesh was in news because of Lucknow Municipal Corporation. So it launched municipal bonds at Bombay Stock Exchange. And it is the first municipality in North India to launch municipal bonds. And this was done under Amrut Initiative. Overall, in entire India, it is the ninth municipal corporation to do so. India held the inaugural meeting of counter-narcotics working group with which country? So. It is USA. It was the inaugural meeting and it was related to counter narcotics. The idea is to curb the drug minas. And in this meeting, the Indian delegation was represented by Deputy Director General of NCB. What is NCB? It is Narcotics Control Bureau. So it is the nodal authority in our country to control the drug minas. And this NCB is under MHA, that is Ministry of Home Affairs. Recently, MHA was in news as it released the list of best police stations. And as per that list, the Nongpo Sekmai police station is the best police station in our country. And this is in Manipur. 737 MAX, which was in news recently, is the airliner of which famous company? So, it is related to Boeing. And it is USA-based company. Now the 737 MAX was grounded last year because of the two crashes. Now it has been redesigned and therefore it was in news. Recently USA was in news because of 2 plus 2 dialogue with India and during that dialogue BECA was signed. Answer in comment box what is BECA? USA was also in news because it quit WHO that is World Health Organization. Which country has banned cotton imports from China citing slave labor. So 
This decision was taken by USC and it has banned the cotton and cotton products from Xinjiang province of China. To be specific, it is Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps. It is one of the largest producer of China in terms of cotton. So recently, USA issued withhold release order in this context. CBIC, that is Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, has mandated HSN code while issuing GST invoice. So the question is, what is HSN? So it is harmonized system of nomenclature. Now, CBIC is Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. HSN is Harmonized System of Nomenclature and GST is Goods and Service Tax. So recently, CBIC mandated that HSN code should be mentioned for certain chemical-based products. So whenever a product related GST is issued, the HSN code should be mentioned. So this will help in curbing the tax evasion. What is the name of India's first indigenous aircraft carrier? So it is INS Vikrant. It is first indigenous aircraft carrier and it will be commissioned by 2022. Why it was in use recently? Because of trials. This indigenous aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, has been constructed by Cochin Sipyard and it is for Indian Navy. Which organization has released the provisional 2020 State of Global Climate Report? So this has been released by WMO, that is World Meteorological Organization. Now, in the context of climate, there is a Paris deal and India is the only G20 country to follow the commitments under this Paris agreement. Recently, it was also in use as USA formally left Paris agreement. Recently, USA was also in use as US Senate, that is upper house of US Parliament, passed a bill to remove the restrictions on number of employment related to immigration visa from a particular country. As per the finance ministry, what is the recovery trajectory of Indian economy? So it is V-shaped. Now what is the meaning of this term V-shaped recovery? So it is categorized by a quick and sustained recovery. So as you can see, there was a downfall and then there was a quick recovery. So after a sharp economic decline, there was a quick recovery. This is V-shaped NGR that is negotiating group on rules which was seen in news recently is associated with which organization so it is related to wto that is world trade organization why it was in news because recently ngr that is negotiating group on rules meeting was conducted by wto and it was related to fisheries subsidies which organization has become india's first regulated gas exchange so it is igx IGX was launched as India's first automated trading platform for natural gas. And this IGX is a subsidiary of IEX. What is IEX? It is Indian Energy Exchange. Recently, IGX obtained all necessary approvals from Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board. Therefore, it became the first regulated gas exchange of our country. Which country has introduced a veto power on any agreement entered with foreign countries? So this is done by Australia. Parliament of Australia passed a legislation that permits the country to block any agreement made between Australia and other foreign country. Now recently, Australia was also in news because of RAA, that is Reciprocal Assess Agreement. So this is a defense cooperation agreement between Australia and Japan. Which state has announced the construction of memorial for the victims of Bhopal gas tragedy? So this decision was taken by Madhya Pradesh government. Chief Minister is Sivraj Chauhan. Now to commemorate the people who lost their life because of this Bhopal gas tragedy, we observe National Pollution Control Day and it is observed on 2nd of December. On the other hand, 3rd of December is observed as International Day of Persons with disability and the theme of this year's day was building back better in fact unesco organized a campaign this is awareness campaign and the name of this campaign is tell our stories enable our rights which is the knowledge partner of microsoft for the india edition of amazing cup 2021 so nsdc is a knowledge partner of microsoft for this 
Amazing Cup 2021. This Amazing Cup is innovation challenge organized by Microsoft. What is NSDC? It is National Skill Development Corporation. Recently, Microsoft and NSDC collaborated to empower 1 lakh women with digital skills. The Supreme Court has upheld that GST, that is goods and service tax, shall be imposed on the which type of goods referring as actionable claims. So it is about lottery. So recently Supreme Court upheld that GST shall be imposed on the sale of lotteries, betting and on gambling. The CLMV countries are the group of countries belonging to which regional organization. So it is related to ASEAN. What is ASEAN? It is Association of Southeast Asian Nation. What is CLMV? It is Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar and Vietnam. So all these four countries are part of ASEAN. ASEAN is a grouping of 10 countries. What is the new limit of transaction made using contactless card as per the recent statement of RBI that is Reserve Bank of India. So the new limit is 5000. Previous limit was 2000 and this is going to be effective from 1st of January in 2021. So this is for contactless card. RBI also increased the limit for recurring transactions using card and using UPI. So the new limit is 5000. Which country has announced to establish friendship association with India to strengthen its ties? So this is Oman. It is a West Asian country and it is a first of its kind initiative in the West Asia which is led by the foreign ministry. So to strengthen the relationship between India and Oman, both countries will set up this friendship association. Where is the headquarters of United Nations Commission on Narcotic Drugs? So the headquarters is in Vienna. Recently, the meeting of this United Nations Commission on Narcotic Drugs was organized. And during that meeting, 53 countries, including India, voted for removing cannabis from the Schedule 4 of this 1961 Single Convention on Narcotic Drugs. Right now, that means before this voting, it was listed as deadly and addictive drug. But these 53 countries, including India, voted that it should be removed from this list. That means it should be removed from the list of deadly and addictive drugs. DCOAS strategy is a new post to be created in which Indian Armed Force. So it is related to Indian Army. What is the full form of DCOAS? It is Deputy Chief of Army Staff. So this new post has been announced by the government and this will be created in Indian Army. And this post that is DCOAS will be responsible to oversee the work of DGMO and DGMI. Now DGMO stands for Director General of Military Operations. DGMI stands for Director General of Military Intelligence. Lesser Florican birds tagged in which Indian state has flown to Telangana recently. So these birds were tagged by the Gujarat Forest Department. What is the meaning of this term tagged? So a geotagging device is attached on the body of the bird so that the moment can be tracked. Where is the National Institute of Naturopathy located? So this institute is in Pune in Maharashtra. Now why this institute was in news recently? The present building of this National Institute of Naturopathy is known as Bapu Bhavan. The 3D object creation platform named Poly is operated by which technology major? So it is operated by Google. And recently it was in news because Google has proposed to shut down this platform from next year. Prakash Singh Badal is the former chief minister of which state? So he is the former chief minister of Punjab. Why he was in news recently? Because he returned his Padm Vibhushan award in the support of farmers protest. And he is the leader of SAD that is Siromani Akali Dal. As per the recent study by JSI, that is Geological Survey of India, which type of squirrel is on the verge of extinction? So it is Malayan giant squirrel. So recently JSI conducted a first of its kind study and as per it, this Malayan giant squirrel could decline by 90% in India by 
2050 and if proper steps are not taken then it may become extinct in our country which startup has partnered with NSIL that is New Space India Limited to launch India's private remote sensing satellite so this collaboration has been done by Pixel and this has been done to launch India's first private remote sensing satellite and the satellite will be launched on PSLV rocket of ISRO ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization it is under Department of Space which institution has released a draft paper on online fantasy sports platforms so this has been done by Niti Aayog Niti Aayog released a draft paper in the context of online fantasy sports platforms for the national level regulation of these platforms now recently Niti Aayog was also in news because of aspirational district program so this is an initiative by Niti Aayog to focus on the development in the most backward districts of our country wakaf board and wakaf council are administered under which ministry so these are administered by union minority affairs ministry recently it was in news because now in the union territories of jammu and kashmir and in the union territory of ladakh these wakaf board will be set up depository institutions repo rate or dr rate is the benchmark policy of which country so it is the benchmark policy of china recently pbc that is people's bank of china stated that the country's monetary policy would be based on this dr rate that is depository institutions repo rate and china recently introduced variable interest rate bond what does that mean it means the interest rate of this bond will be variable and this interest rate is linked to this dr rate which high court in india has the highest number of women judges as of 2020 so this is madras high court at present the total number of women judges in the madras high court are 13 the chief justice of madras high court is justice ap shahi a comic book depicting india's maritime heritage has been made by which publication so it is by amar chitra katha and this was recently released by navy vice chief who is vice chief of navy he is vice admiral g ashok kumar recently this was released on the occasion of navy day and it is celebrated on 4th of december first ever reddish crop has been grown in the space by which organization so it was done by nasa NASA is National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It is the space agency of USA. India Empowerment Fund is set to be launched by which body? So it is related to IIT Alumni Council, and this fund will be set up to provide financial support to India's research system. That means this money will be used for promotion of research in our country. The Sikandra to Taj Gate corridor. which was inaugurated by prime minister is a part of which metro rail service so it is a part of agra metro and the first phase of this metro would connect sikandra to taz the ngt that is national green tribunal has directed which state to prepare an action plan for 14 proposed elephant corridors so recently ngt that is national green tribunal directed odisha government to prepare an action plan within 3 months for the 14 proposed elephant corridors so that elephants can move from one habitation to another this ngt is a statutory body and it is constituted as per ngt act recently it completed 10 years and the principal bench of ngt is in new delhi as per the iucn latest report on world heritage which region of india is of great concern so iucn is international union for conservation of nature recently it released a report on world heritage and as per that report the conservation of western ghats is of great concern so the name of report was world heritage outlook it was released by iucn iucn is international union for conservation of nature as per this report the conservation of western ghats is of great concern the headquarters of iucn is in gland which is the first bank to announce linking its executives pay to achievement in sustainable development so this has been announced by deutsche bank it is a german 
multinational bank. Recently, it announced that it is going to link up the pay of top executives with their achievement in reaching the sustainable development. Which organization developed the advanced towed artillery gun systems? So it has been developed by DRDO. DRDO is Defense Research and Development Organization. It is under MOD, that is Ministry of Defense. CPCB has raised concern on the pollution and frothing of which river? So CPCB is Central Pollution Control Board and it has raised concern on the pollution and frothing of river Yamuna. So as you can see, a layer of foam developed on the surface of river Yamuna. It is something similar like that. Now, because of the increment in the level of ammonia and because of the phosphorus level, this frothing and pollution became issue in river Yamuna. Which pharma company has become first firm to ask for emergency use authorization from India? So, it is Pfizer. Now, what is the meaning of this term emergency use authorization? It means to allow the use of unapproved medical products. That means this product has not been tested completely. Of course, it is showing good results, but it is not tested completely. Still, it is being allowed to use. Why so? Because there is emergency situation. So, in present case, Pfizer has asked for the permission from DCGI for the distribution of COVID-19 vaccine under this emergency use authorization because the trials are not over yet. Gaofen 14 Earth Observation Satellite has been sent to space by China using which launch vehicle? So it has been sent to space using Long March 3B. Now this is an Earth Observation Satellite and it can capture high resolution images of ground objects across the globe. USA has terminated five cultural exchange programs with which country? So this country is China. So recently US government terminated five cultural exchange programs with China. As per US argument, US said that China is using these programs for its propaganda. Which state is set to organize first ever migratory bird festival this year? So Bihar is going to organize first ever migratory bird festival this year. Mahapari Nirvan Divas is observed to mourn the death of which national leader? So it is associated to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, that is Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar. And every year on 6th of December, this Mahapari Nirvan Divas is observed and it is the death anniversary of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. On this date in 1956, he passed away. The go for zero policy which was seen in news is associated with which country? So it is associated to Australia and it is a policy proposal released by Grattan Institute. It is a known for profit organization that advise the government. Who is the first Indian army chief to visit the UAE and Saudi Arabia? So present army chief General Manoj Mukund Narwane is the first Indian army chief to visit UAE and Saudi Arabia. Recently, Saudi Arabia was in news as it was the host of G20 summit. India will host this G20 summit in 2023. Which country rolled out its first vaccine in the world? So it is UK and recently UK became the first country in the world to start using COVID-19 vaccine and the vaccine developed by Pfizer and BioNTech were approved by the UK regulators. Now the vaccine is given as two injections with a gap of 21 days and after the second injection the immunity is said to have reached 7 days after second injection. That means you will be immune 7 days after the second injection. Art of life methodology is associated with which state? So it is associated to Rajasthan. Why it was in news recently? Because Rajasthan state tourism department tied up with UNESCO to implement a project by adopting this art of life methodology. So the idea is to connect the art and artist with the admirers of art and culture. Which institution has created a technology to harvest water from air? So this has been done by IIT Guwahati and the researchers have used the concept of hydrophobicity. Hydrophobicity means hydrophobia. Hydro means water, phobia means fear. So the fear of water. So it is a property of a material to repeal water. Starship is the rocket ship 
of which space company so it is associated to spacex spacex is a company by elon musk now this starship is being designed to carry people to mars what is the limit of fdi that is foreign direct investment in the defense sector under automatic route so under automatic route it is now permitted up to 74% previous limit was 49% actually it was announced in september but now the government has issued notification in this context the department of integrated medicine is proposed to be set up by ministry of ayush and which institution so for this ayush ministry is going to collaborate with aims what is aims it is all india institute of medical sciences now recently ayush ministry was also in news as it signed a memorandum of understanding with wcd that is ministry of women and child development to control malnutrition as a part of poshan abhiyan companies of which two countries are leaders in global arms market as per the recent cipre report so the companies of us and china are leaders in global arms market as per the latest report by cipre what is cipre it is stockholm international peace research institute where is the headquarters of un sdsn that is united nations sustainable development solutions network so the headquarters is in new york in usa now recently this un sdsn was in news because of its collaboration with i double e p now what is this i double e p it is institute for european environmental policy so it is institute for european environmental policy and these two worked together to publish europe sustainable development report 2020 which country topped the climate change performance index so recently this index was released by german watch new climate institute and can that is climate action network so as per this latest index india is on 10th position last year india was on 9th position please note that there is no country on first three positions that means as per this index no country performed enough to be on first top three positions iccr that is indian council for cultural relations is an autonomous body functioning under which ministry so it is under mea that is ministry of external affairs icr was founded by molana abul kalam azad in 1950 the present president of iccr is vinay sahastrabuddhi recently the institution was in news because of global understanding of india project which state police has recently bought troller software from interpol to tackle the child pornography so this has been done by maharashtra so the software crawler will help maharashtra police to track down the child pornography which is uploaded online so that stern action can be taken against it now what is interpol it is international police the headquarters of interpol is in lyon in france digital saksham is a capacity building initiative for which sector so it is an initiative for msme sector and recently mastercard cii that is confederation of indian industry and nimsme collaborated to launch this digital saksham initiative for msme sector it is a capacity building program for msme what is the theme of international civil aviation day from 2022 2023 to so every year international civil aviation day is celebrated on 7th of december and the theme for 2022 2023 is advancing innovation for global aviation development so this international civil aviation day is celebrated to spread awareness about the work of icao that is international civil aviation organization the headquarters of this organization is in canada and it is a united nations organization organochlorine is commonly used as which product so it is commonly used as pesticide additive why it was in news recently because it may be one of the reason behind the mysterious illness disease in elluru in andhra pradesh and this elluru is in west godavari district of andhra pradesh lidar technology is set to be used for conducting ground survey in which upcoming project so this will be used for 
दिल्ली वाराणसी रेल कॉरिडोर नाउ व्हाट इज एल आई डी ए आर इट इज लाइट डिटेक्शन एंड रेंजिंग टेक्निक सो दिस टेक्निक विल बी यूज टू कंडक्ट द ग्राउंड सर्वे फॉर दिस दिल्ली वाराणसी हाई स्पीड रेल कॉरिडोर एंड दिस टेक्नोलॉजी वॉज यूज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम फॉर मुंबई अहमदाबाद रेल प्रोजेक्ट विथ स्पेस एजेंसी हैज लॉन्च द न्यू ड्रैगन रीसप्लाई मिशन so it has been launched by spacex spacex is a company by elon musk so under this mission spacex sent a cargo spacecraft to iss on the behalf of nasa now what is nasa it is space agency of usa nasa stands for national aeronautics and space administration what is iss it is international space station so under this new dragon resupply mission spacex sent a cargo spacecraft to iss now this iss is a habitable artificial satellite and it is in leo that is low earth orbit sahid aswakullah khan prani udyan which was in news recently is located in which state so it is located in uttar pradesh now why it was in news because recently cza that is central jew authority gave recognition to two new jew and one is in rajgir in bihar and second one is this sahid ashfaq ullah khan prani udyan it is in uttar pradesh which state has started a new vaccination drive after registering anthrax cases in elephants so this decision was taken by assam government after the death of elephants in dehing patkai wildlife sanctuary of assam and this death was because of anthrax so the state decided to start a vaccination drive now what is this anthrax it is a disease caused by a bacteria what is the name of moon landing mission of nasa for which it has selected the first ever woman so the name of this mission is artemis it is a moon landing mission of nasa nasa is the space agency of usa nasa stands for national aeronautics and space administration so this is a moon landing mission and for this purpose a group of women was selected and this group includes christina koch and jessica mayer which country exempted import inspection for indian black tiger shrimps so this decision was taken by japan so japan is the second largest market for indian black tiger shrimps after usa now japan exempted imports inspection for this indian product so this will enhance the exports of shrimps from west bengal and from kerala which country under its data sonification program extracted the sound of important phenomena of universe so this country is usa and nasa is implementing this data sonification program under this program it is extracting the sound of important phenomena of universe what is the name of new health research application launched by google so it is google health studies it is new health research application launched by google recently google was also in news because of cnil so it is data privacy regulator of france recently it was in news because it fined google and amazon so google was fined 100 million euros and amazon was fined 35 million euros for the breach of data privacy norms which payment system is set to be made available round the clock from december 2020 so it is rtgs what is full form of rtgs it is real time gross settlement so from 14th of december it will be available 24 by 7 that means 24 hours 7 days of week last year rbi made nft service available for 24 by 7 now rtgs is real time gross settlement payment system and there is no upper limit of transaction in rtgs method so it is meant for large value transactions which country has rolled out a draft legislation to combat radical islamism so this decision has been taken by france french president is emmanuel macron recently france was also in news as french territory of new caledonia voted against the independence from france in a referendum Nana Addo Dankwa has been re-elected as the president of which country? So he has been re-elected as the president of Ghana. Ghana is a country along 
Gulf of Guayana and its shares border with Atlantic Ocean. Cattle meat has been discovered in the remains of settlements of which civilization? So it is IVC that is Indus Valley Civilization and recently researchers found the presence of animal products such as meat of pigs, cattle, buffalo, sheep and goats in the remains of Indus Valley Civilization. What amount of expenditure has been approved by the Union Cabinet for wage subsidy via EPFO? So it is 22810 crore. EPFO is Employees Provident Fund Organization. So recently to provide wage subsidy through EPFO, government approved 22,810 crore rupees. And this is part of Atam Nirbhar Bharat Rozgar Yojana. Which state has created Matru Sahyogini Samiti to combat malnutrition? So this was done by Madhya Pradesh and it has created Mother's Cooperation Committees that is Matru Sahyogini Samitis. So these committees will have 10 mothers from Anganwadi. What is the name of initiative of India to launch movie series for the diplomats of SCO that is Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The name of the series is Cinema Scope. So under this program over two dozen Indian films were dubbed and screened in Russian and the screening will continue till 2023. Why it is 2023 because in that year India will be the chairperson of SCO Council of Heads of State. The US federal government and states issued lawsuit against which company accusing this company of elimination of competition. So this company is Facebook. Now a lawsuit has been filed against Facebook and it has been accused of eliminating competition by the acquisition of Instagram and of WhatsApp. And because of that it led to the monopoly of Facebook and that is why it is being accused of elimination of competition. Now this Instagram and WhatsApp are the entities of Facebook and recently US federal government and state issued lawsuit against Facebook. The European Union leaders agreed to cut greenhouse gas emissions by 55% by which year? So the target is 2030 and by 2050 the target of European Union is to be carbon neutral. That means by 2050 European Union will have zero carbon emission means whatever carbon will be emitted it will be sequestered. Okay now recently New Zealand declared climate emergency and it declared that it will be carbon neutral by 2025. Which is the first Indian state to roll out an online mechanism for fire safety approval named fire safety COP. So this is Gujarat and this is going to be the first Indian state to do so. That means to launch an online mechanism for fire safety approval. Recently Gujarat was also in news because of land grabbing prohibition act. So Gujarat passed this land grabbing prohibition act. Gujarat was also in news because of Vig Court Village as recently hybrid renew energy that means renewable energy park foundation was set up near this Vig Court Village in Gujarat and it is in Kutch district of Gujarat and this foundation stone was laid down by the Prime Minister. Which country has test launched the heavy lift space rocket Angara A5? So this has been done by Russia. Space Agency of Russia is Roscosmos. Now as per the media reports, this Angara rocket do not use any toxic propellant. So it is environment friendly. Recently Russia was also in news because of Russia India naval exercise and it is Pasex and it was carried out in IOR that is Indian Ocean region. Russia was also in news because of BrahMos. So India and Russia are collaborating for this missile system. Unified Development Council and Promotion Regulations that is UDCPR which was in news is associated with which state. So it is associated to Maharashtra. Now Maharashtra government has released a Unified Development Control and Promotion Regulations. In simple terms these are the Unified Regulations for Real Estate Development. Previously there were different rules for different areas. Now the state government issued a unified document of rules for the development of real estate sector. So these rules will be applicable to ensure that there is a uniformity in the size of projects. 
As per FAO, that is Food and Agriculture Organization, more than 5 million population of which country would head into hunger in 2021. So, it is Yemen. And Yemen is in a situation of civil war since 2014. Now, what is FAO? It is Food and Agriculture Organization. It is an agency of United Nations. Recently, it completed 75 years. And on this occasion, Government of India released a coin of 75 rupees. By what name the United Nations has declared the year of 2021. So it will be the year of creative economy. And the proposal in this context was sponsored by Indonesia. Now this term creative economy was also in use as UNESCO, that is United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization decided to launch a prize after Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is considered as the founding father of Bangladesh and current Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, is his daughter. Which organization has launched Operation Oliva? So, this has been launched by Indian Coast Guard and it has been launched for Olive Ridley Turtles. Olive Ridley Turtles are endangered and to prevent the entry of fishing vessels, ICG, that is Indian Coast Guard, is going to make sure that the area is properly surveilled. The book titled The Shoria Unbound is about which incident? So it is a book about 2001 parliament attack and it has been released by Lok Sabha speaker Mr. Om Birla. Now two important points. First in English the name of book is Shorya Unbound and in Hindi the name of book is Samudra Samave Boondme. So Hindi version is Samudra Samave Boondme and English version is The Shorya Unbound. So it is about 2001 parliament attack and it has been released by Lok Sabha speaker Om Birla. And this is a book of Tales of Valor of CRPF, that is Central Reserve Police Force. Collab is the new music video application launched by which major company? So it has been launched by Facebook. And as of now, it has been launched for iOS platform. It allows users to create collaborative musical videos. So it is going to compete with TikTok. The parent company of TikTok is ByteDance. Recently, Facebook was also in news because of lawsuit against Facebook that it tried to eliminate competition by acquiring Instagram and WhatsApp. What is the name of promotional activity of India International Science Festival which is in use recently? So the name of this activity is Vigyan Yatra and Ministry of Science and Technology flagged up the Vigyan Yatra ahead of this India International Science Festival and this is going to be the sixth edition. Now this DBT, that is Department of Biotechnology, is under Ministry of Science and Technology. San Isidro movement is associated to which country? So it is associated to Cuba. Actually, the San Isidro is the name of place in Cuba. And in 2018, the artist, journalist, and activist got together to protest against the country's rules on censorship of cultural activities. And they got together at this place San Isidro and that's why it has been given the name San Isidro movement. Now the short form is MSI that is Momento San Isidro. USA has imposed sanctions on Turkey under which act? So this is Katsa that is countering American adversaries through sanctions act. So under section 231 of Katsa, USA imposed sanctions on Turkey for purchasing S-400 missile defense system from Russia. Now this Katsa was enacted to impose sanctions on the adversaries of USA. So under this act, sanctions against Iran, North Korea and Russia are imposed. And now sanctions against Turkey are imposed under this act. Which constitutional body has confirmed Joe Biden as the next president of USA? So it has been confirmed by Electoral College of USA. Please note that this Electoral College is formed once in a four years and it is formed for the purpose of electing president and vice president. So Joe Biden is a president elect and Kamala Harris is vice president elect and these two were named as the time person of year. In fact, Joe Biden is the most searched personality as per Google search. Point Kalima Bird and Wildlife Sanctuary is located in which state? So it is located in Tamil Nadu and to be specific it is located on the eastern coast of Tamil Nadu. Recently Tamil Nadu was also in news because of tourist statistics report. This report was released by tourism ministry 
As per this report, Uttar Pradesh is on top position in terms of domestic tourist and Tamil Nadu is on top position in terms of foreign tourist. Which Indian state launched a project to set up 2000 mini clinics to provide basic medical facilities to the poor. So it has been started by Tamil Nadu. The chief minister of Tamil Nadu is E.K. Palaniswamy and these mini clinics are named after former late chief minister Jayalalitha. So these are given the name Amma mini clinics. These are going to provide the basic medical treatment facilities to the poor people in the state of Tamil Nadu. What is the name of offshore petrol vessel launched by Goa shipyard that is constructed for ICG that is Indian Coast Guard. So it is ICGS Shaksham. It is OPV that is offshore petrol vessel. It is for ICG that is Indian Coast Guard and it has been built by Goa Shipyard Limited. Uta Ming, the first wild animal to be infected by coronavirus belongs to which country? So it is associated to USA. It is first wild animal to be infected by the coronavirus. Recently, Denmark was also in use because of mink species as Denmark decided to cull several minks after they were infected by the virus. Recently, USA started vaccination for coronavirus and, and first person to get vaccine in USA is Sandra Lindsay. Which type of wave move across the Bay of Bengal and target Tamil Nadu and Kerala to give rains? So as the name suggests, it is going to be easterly waves. Why easterly? Because they are coming from eastern side. The western side of India, that means state of Maharashtra, Karnataka, Goa, all these states get rain because of westerly winds. T-fiber project which was in use recently is associated with which Indian state? So it is associated to Telangana and it is high speed broadband connection initiative by the Telangana government. So the objective is to provide optical fiber network. Now why it was in use recently because the state government gave the status of vital public purpose to this project. That means now this project will be implemented at a higher speed and all the necessary work related to approval of this project will be done on priority basis. Now because of this project Mission Bhagirath was also in use. So it is a mission of Telangana government to provide drinking water to the households. Union cabinet approved MOU that is Memorandum of Understanding between India and which country for exchange of information in the electricity sector. So this is between India and USA. And for this purpose CERC is going to join hands with FERC. Now what is the CERC? It is Central Electricity Regulatory Commission. So it is Regulatory Commission of India and it is related to electricity sector. FERC stands for Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. So this is related to USA and now these two organizations are going to share information with each other and this is going to be related to electricity sector. What is the IUCN status of black soft cell turtle? So it is extinct in wild. That means it is no longer available in wild. Recently, black soft cell turtles were released in the wetlands of Kajiranga National Park and it is in Assam. Now what is IUCN? It is International Union for Conservation of Nature. What amount of financial assistance has been approved for the sugarcane farmers of country? So it is 3500 crore rupees. Recently CCEA that is Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs headed by Prime Minister approved this financial assistance. This is for sugarcane farmers. So this is expected to benefit 5 crore sugarcane farmers and 5 lakh workers in sugar mills. As of 2020, when was the most recent spectrum auction held in India? So the most recent spectrum auction held in 2016. Recently, Union Cabinet headed by Prime Minister approved the next round of auction of telecom spectrum. Now what is this telecom spectrum? Just like we need road for our vehicles. So similarly in telecom sector for communication spectrum is needed and government auction this spectrum. So telecom companies will pay to the government for this spectrum and how they are going to recover the cost? They are going to recover the cost from consumers like you and me. What new parameters have been incorporated into 2020 Human Development Index? The new parameter is CO2 emission and material footprint. 
So recently UNDP released Human Development Index. India is on 131st position as per this index. Now this Human Development Index is prepared on the basis of three parameters, life expectancy, education and per capita income. This year, that means in 2020, it incorporated a new parameter and it is CO2 emission and material footprint. The economic report ECORAP is released by which organization? So it is released by SBI, that is State Bank of India. Recently, SBI was also in news as it signed agreement with JBIC, that is Japan Bank of International Cooperation and it signed agreement with JBIC of amount up to $1 billion. SBI was also in news as recently Mercedes-Benz collaborated with SBI to target HNI customers, that is high net worth individuals. Which animal has been sighted for the first time in the Himalayan cold desert region? So it is Himalayan Siru. It has been spotted for the first time in the Himalayan cold desert in the Spiti region in Himachal Pradesh. These are herbivores. So these are similar to goat but they have long ears. The Young Champions of Earth Prize is awarded by which organization? So it is given by UNEP that is United Nation Environment Program and it is given every year to the scientists, entrepreneurs and engineers as well as to the activists. So the headquarters of UNEP is in Nairobi in Kenya and it was founded on 5th of June in 1972. Now this year the Young Champions of Earth Prize was also given to actually it is given to seven individuals and one of them was Vidyut Mohan. He is from India and he is the co-founder of Takachar. The Swarnim Vijay Masal has been lit by the Prime Minister of India to commemorate which historic event. So it is to commemorate indo Park War and it was a war of 1971 and the result of this war was Bangladesh. And with this Swarnim Vijay Masal, the 50th anniversary of indo Park war has started. Now recently Bangladesh was in news because it signed its first PTA that is preferential trade agreement with Bhutan. Please note that Bhutan was the first country to recognize Bangladesh. India was the second one to recognize Bangladesh. The Northeast Power Project that is NERPSIP is implemented by which organization? So it is going to be implemented by Power Grid and it is under Power Ministry. Now, this project is World Bank funded. So, financial support will be provided by World Bank. It will be implemented by Power Grid. Name of project is Northeast Power Project. This Power Grid is under Power Ministry. Which financial institution has approved four India projects including the Chirag project of Chhattisgarh and DRIP second. So, this has been approved by World Bank. Now, what is this Chirag initiative of Chhattisgarh? It stands for Chhattisgarh Inclusive Rural and Accelerated Agricultural Growth Project. So it has two main components. One is rural development and second is agri-growth. That is growth in agriculture sector. So recently World Bank approved four Indian projects worth 800 million dollars to support the development schemes in our country. What is the rank of India in Human Development Index if the new metric PHDI is taken into account. Now this is very important because for the first time this dimension has been included in this Human Development Index. If this PHDI dimension is considered then India's ranking is 123. The Human Development Index has been released by UNDP. It is based on three parameters life expectancy, income and education and for the first time it included carbon emission as well and therefore it gave a new dimension it is planetary pressures adjusted human development index that is why it is PHDI that is planetary pressures adjusted human development index the index is topped by Ireland China signed a protocol with which country to extend their notification pact for missile launches so China signed this protocol with Russia now what is the meaning of this entire issue it means both countries that is China and Russia are going to inform each other before launching missiles to keep each other informed and to keep in confidence. So there was a protocol 
The initial agreement was signed in 2009. Now, this protocol has been signed to extend this agreement for next 10 years. What is the term used to refer zero emission of harmful or waste substances in environment? So, it is net zero state. Now, why it was in news? Because recently, SIA, that is Serum Institute of India, was in news because it is going to achieve this net zero state. How it is going to achieve this net zero state? By reducing its all kind of emission of harmful substances in the environment. In which country, a landmark judgment has been passed stating that air pollution caused the death of a nine-year-old child. So this country is UK and the name of that child was Ella Casey Debra. So she was associated to UK and this was a landmark judgment. Why so? Because it stated that the severe air pollution was the cause of death of this child. Where is the NGFS headquartered? What is NGFS? It is Network of Central Banks and Supervisors for Greening the Financial System. So the headquarters of NGFS is in Paris. Now what exactly is this NGFS? As the name suggests, it is a network for greening the financial system. That means the financial system that specifically focus on the climate change. Which organization has added a new feature in rupee cards that will allow the offline contactless transaction? So, two important keywords. One is offline, second is contactless. It is a new feature that has been added in rupee cards and it has been added by NPCI. That is National Payments Corporation of India. NPCI was founded in 2008 and it was founded as a known for profit organization and it was founded by RBI that is our central bank and IBA that is Indian Banks Association. Chilhati Haldibadi Rail link is a link between which two countries? So it is between India and Bangladesh. So recently it was inaugurated actually before 1965 war it was functional. So this will improve the rail connectivity between two countries. Recently Bangladesh was also in use as with Bhutan it signed its first PTA that is preferential trade agreement. Recently Bhutan was in use because it formalized its relationship with Israel. Israel was in use as it partnered with Uttar Pradesh government for the management of water in Bundelkhand region of Uttar Pradesh. Which is the first launch vehicle of ISRO that will entirely carry the satellites of private players. So it is PSLV C-51. ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization. PSLV is Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. So it is launch vehicle and it is going to launch the satellites of private players that means private companies. So it will launch Anand Satellite. This is Earth Observation Satellite and it has been built by a private startup. It is Pixel India. It is Earth Observation Satellite. Which country added India in the list of currency manipulating countries? So USA added India in the list of currency manipulating countries. That means now India has been included in this watch list of currency manipulators. What does that mean? It means India is intervening in the currency market to maintain the balance of payment adjustment. So if you don't know about the concept of balance of payment, currency appreciation, depreciation, devaluation, then please read about these terms. Bangalore Mission 2022, which was seen in news recently, is associated with which project? So, it is related to infrastructure development. Bangalore is in Karnataka and it is mission of Karnataka to enhance the infrastructure facility in Bangalore and the target year is 2022. Why 2022 is special? Because India will complete 75 years of independence. Which e-commerce site has partnered with NPCI, that is National Payments Corporation of India, to enable the doorstep digital payments? So for this purpose, Snapdeal has partnered with NPCI. So they will simplify the process of digital payments at the time of delivery of goods. Now this NPCI was founded in 2008 and it is a joint effort of RBI that is our central bank and IBA that is Indian Bank Association. Which organization implements the CCTNS that is crime and criminal tracking network and systems. So it is a database of crimes and criminals and it is implemented by NCRV that is National Crime Records Bureau. So with the help of this CCTNS 
each and every police station is connected and whenever a crime is re registered in a specific police station all other police stations get to know about this crime with the help of this CCTNS so that's why they can coordinate better what is the target set for natural gas in India's total energy mix by 2030 so the target is 15 percent that means by 2030 natural gas will contribute 15 percent in our total energy mix right now the share of natural gas is 6.2 percent which tech measure has developed a face recognition software that identifies ethnic minorities so this has been developed by alibaba it is a chinese company and it has developed a face recognition software which enable the users to identify ethnic minorities like uyghurs so these are muslim minorities in china what is the name of india's doctrine of maritime cooperation in ior that is indian ocean region so the name of this doctrine is sagar sagar stands for security and growth for all in the region and as a part of the sagar initiative india and indonesia conducted joint exercise so it was ind indo corpac that is coordination patrol so it was conducted by indian navy and navy of indonesia which country has approved a law for chemical castration of rapist so this law has been approved by pakistan the prime minister of pakistan is imran khan recently pakistan was also in news because of karima baluch so she was a human right activist from pakistan and recently she was found dead in canada what is the name of e-booklet that has been launched by the government of india highlighting the success stories of farmers so the name of this e-booklet is putting farmers first this has been released by central government to highlight the success stories of farmers please note that right now farmers are protesting against the three laws by the government on which day the international migrants day is observed so it is observed on 18th of december and the theme was reimagining human mobility what is the rank of india in the doing business report 2020 after the recent update of world bank so the world bank released updated rankings after the review of data irregularities and it corrected the rankings of china saudi arabia uae and azerbaijan india's ranking is same and it is unchanged it is 63 couscous the staple food of which region has been included in the unesco cultural heritage list so it is the staple food of north african region recently it was included in the unesco cultural heritage list apart from this food recently hawker culture of singapore was recognized by unesco so these two are included in the list of intangible cultural heritage by unesco as per iuc and recent assessment with species in the indian eez that is exclusive economic zone are classified as critically endangered so recently iucn conducted assessment in indian exclusive economic zone that is eez and it classified sarks rays and chimeras as critically endangered what is iucn it is international union for conservation of nature the headquarters of iucn is in gland in switzerland which indian company along with uk based bp is to start oil production from deepest offshore gas field in asia so three important points first this one is the deepest offshore gas field in asia second point is that two companies are going to collaborate one is reliance industries limited and second company is bp it is a uk based company third point is that they are going to start oil production from this gas field and this gas field is in kg basin and the name of this gas field is R cluster. What is KZ Basin? It is Krishna Godavari Basin. So it is situated on the eastern coast of our country. Which government co-owns OneWeb, a low earth orbit satellite communications operator? So it is co-owned by, that means this OneWeb is co-owned by Bharti Global and UK government. This OneWeb is a low earth orbit satellite communications operator. Why it was in news recently? Because it launched 36 satellites from a cosmodrome in Russia. So this process will speed up the launch of high-speed internet services in our country. What is the name of automobile fuel that has 20% ethanol 
and 80% gasoline. So it is E20 fuel. E for ethanol 20 stands for 20% of mixer with gasoline. So it will help in reducing the emissions. That means vehicular emissions. So it will reduce the overall pollution. Plus it will help us in reducing our oil import. Which organization has set up the multilingual coal center for aqua farmers at Vijayawada. So this has been set up by MPEDA that is Marine Products Export Development Authority. The headquarters of this authority is in Kochi and it is an entity under Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Recently, it set up a multilingual coal center for aqua farmers at Vijayawada in Andhra Pradesh and this is a first of its kind center. So it is a coal center for farmers. Multilingual means the support will be provided in multiple languages. What is Shinkansen? which was in news recently. So it is a high speed train. So recently Japanese embassy in India rolled out certain images of E5 series of this Shinkansen train. It is important to note that Japan is the key partner of India in this MAHSR. What is MAHSR? It is Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail project. So for this project Japan is our key partner. What is the theme for second cohort under RBI's regulatory sandbox? So the theme was cross-border payments. Now what is regulatory sandbox? It means live testing or testing of new product or services in regulatory environment. So the theme of second cohort was cross-border payments. What is the state board of Uttar Pradesh that has been adopted as a new logo of Noida International Airport? So it is SARS screen. This Noida International Airport is in Jewar in Uttar Pradesh. And the new logo is Saras Crane. It is a state bird of Uttar Pradesh. And the contract to construct this airport has been awarded to Jury Airport International. Which Union Ministry presents the Pandit Deendayal Upadhyay Telecom Skill Excellence Awards? So this is presented by Ministry of Communications. This initiative was started to recognize those successful telecom skilled people who worked in the fields of health and education to solve the problems of people. Who is the author of book Reporting India which was recently launched? So it is a book by journalist Prem Prakash. Recently, Minister of External Affairs Mr. Ash Jayashankar launched this book. Now this book is written by Prem Prakash who is the chairman of ANI that is Asian News International. Apart from this book, few other books were in use. One was Ayodhya. So it was launched by former Chief Minister of Maharashtra Devendra Fadnavis and the author of this book is Madhav Bhandari. The Indian cricket team scored its lowest ever total in the test cricket against which team? So it is against Australia and it was 36. Previous lowest was 42 and that was against England. Now recently Australia was also in news because of RAA that is reciprocal access agreement. So it was signed with Japan. It was a defense cooperation agreement between Australia and Japan to counter China. FIU that is financial intelligence unit has imposed penalty on which payment gateway measure for violating anti money laundering law. So it is PayPal. Now FIU has imposed penalty of 96 lakhs on this online payment gateway on the violation of anti money laundering law. Now, few important things about FIU. It was set up by Government of India in 2004 and it is that means FIU IND that is Financial Intelligence Unit of India. It is an independent body and it reports directly to EIC. What is EIC? It is Economic Intelligence Council. So it is Eco Intelligence Council and this council is headed by Finance Minister. Anthropological Survey of India functions under which Union Ministry? So recently, Anthropological Survey of India was in news as it warned that any commercial activity in North Sentinel Islands would be a threat to the tribals in that area. This Anthropological Survey of India is under Ministry of Culture. The headquarters is in Kolkata in West Bengal. This North Sentinel Islands is a part of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. DDC that is District Development Council is a local government body of which state or union territory? So it is related to Jammu and Kashmir. Recently it was in news because DDC elections were organized. Now please note that last year 
the erstwhile state of jammu and kashmir was bifurcated into two union territories one is union territory of jammu and kashmir it will have legislature another one is union territory of ladakh it will not have any legislature 500 meter aperture spherical telescope that is fast is located in which country so it is located in china now after the collapse of arecibo observatory in puerto rico china has opened the biggest radio telescope in the world and it is fast that is 500 meter aperture spherical telescope actually the construction of this telescope was completed in 2016 but now it has been opened for the astronomers of the world what is tau boots which was in news recently so it is a star system beyond our solar system and this was found during the observation through lofar what is this lofar it is low frequency array it is a radio telescope and it is situated in netherlands so this tau boots is a star system outside our solar system ministry of ports shipping and waterways identified routes for inland and international waterways under which scheme so it is sagarmala scheme so under the scheme the routes for inland and international waterways were identified now what exactly is this sagarmala scheme it is a scheme for port led development for road infrastructure we have a similar scheme named bharatmala what is the theme of india international science festival so the theme was science for self reliant india and global welfare So this India International Science Festival is organized by Ministry of Science and Technology, Ministry of Earth Sciences and Vigyan Bharati. Initially it was started in 2015. So the theme of this event was Science for a Self-Reliant India and Global Welfare. The Prime Minister released a postage stamp during the centenary celebrations of which university? So it is AMU that is Aligarh Muslim University. It is a central university and it is in Aligarh. It was originally established by Sir Syed Ahmed Khan and it was established in 1875. Later in 1920 its name was changed as AMU. Previous name was Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College. So this university is in Uttar Pradesh. The suspension on IBC that is insolvency and bankruptcy code has been extended till which date so it has been extended till 31st of march of 2021 what is ibc it is insolvency and bankruptcy code now the problem is that because of corona virus business were impacted badly so they were not in a position to pay for the money which they have taken as a loan therefore they requested to the government that they should not be declared as bankrupt or defaulter because of this pandemic situation and that is why government decided to suspend this ibc that is insolvency and bankruptcy code this was done for the defaults which were occurred because of the lockdown situation due to pandemic which player won the stephen edberg sportsmanship award at atp awards so rafael nadal won it and rafael nadal won the stephen edberg sportsmanship award for the third year in a row he is a tennis player from spain capital of spain is madrid Recently Spain was in news because of COP25. It is Conference of Parties number 25 and it is related to UN FCCC that is United Nation Framework Convention on Climate Change. So this COP25 held in Spain under the presidency of Chile government. Benjamin Netanyahu who was in news recently was the prime minister of which country? So recently the parliament of Israel was dissolved. The prime minister of Israel was Benjamin Netanyahu. Now fresh elections will be organized in Israel. In a similar development, the Parliament of Nepal was also dissolved on the recommendation of Nepali Prime Minister K P Sharma Oli. So now even in Nepal, fresh elections will be organized. The President of Nepal is Vidya Devi Bhandari. Which country passed a 900 billion US dollars pandemic relief package, which was making news recently? So this was passed by USA. So this was a pandemic relief package to deliver the assistance that is financial assistance to the business and to the individuals. Now the bill that means the bill for this relief package was approved and it was sent to US president who rejected it on the grounds that more relief should be provided to the American people. International Science Literature Festival Vigyanika 
was organized on the birth anniversary of which indian personality so it was organized on the occasion of birth anniversary of srinivas ramanujan and his birth anniversary is celebrated as national maths day in our country and it was celebrated on 22nd of december development finance corporation which announced is to invest 54 million us dollars in national investment and infrastructure fund is from which country so it is from usa this dfc is from usa and it is going to invest in niif what is niif it is national investment and infrastructure fund so it was started in 2015 and it was first of its kind fund to support the infrastructure projects what is dz box which was recently launched by ceo of niti aayog so it is a digital asset management so it is asset management platform it was recently launched by ceo of niti aayog niti aayog is an executive body ceo of niti aayog is amitabh kant the chairperson of niti aayog is prime minister ransomware task force has been launched by which major tech company so it has been launched by microsoft so it has been constituted to provide the protection from the ransomware attack now what exactly is this ransomware it is a combination of two terms ransom plus software so it is a malicious software that infect your computer and demand a ransom from you to make your system work again that means this malicious software will manipulate the functioning of your computer and it will demand ransom money from you for the normal functioning this is ransomware which institution cautioned against taking loans through unauthorized digital lending apps so this has been done by rbi that is reserve bank of india recently rbi was also in news because of its automated bank note processing center and this is in jaipur jaipur is in rajasthan which international organization launched covid-19 vaccine market dashboard so this has been launched by unicef so this will display the developments of coronavirus vaccine market and it has been developed by unicef and other entities of covax facility now what is this covax so it is a alliance by three major entities one is who second is cepi and third is gavi gavi is global vaccine alliance cepi is coalition for epidemic preparedness innovations which indian research institution is to set up dr f c kohli center of excellence for research so it will be set up by chennai mathematical institute now who was dr f c kohli he was the first ceo of tcs that is tata consultancy services and he is considered as the father of it industry that is father of indian it industry india signed an agreement with which country to cooperate in health and medicine and to support the green healthcare so this country is israel so both countries will share their expertise in building climate resilient infrastructure and to support the green healthcare green healthcare means climate resilient health infrastructure recently israel was in news as morocco normalized ties with israel and morocco is the sixth country overall sixth arab league country to normalize ties with israel indian prime minister has been conferred with legion of merit honor by which country so it is us us president donald trump conferred the legion of merit honor to indian prime minister in fact he conferred this award to prime ministers of quad countries as per the status of leopard in india 2018 report which state has the highest number of leopards so madhya pradesh has the highest number of leopards as per this recent as per this recent report now as per this report there is a 60% increment in the population of leopards and madhya pradesh have the highest number after madhya pradesh it is karnataka and maharashtra ministry of jal shakti along with which union ministry launched catch the rain awareness generation campaign so for this campaign jal shakti ministry collaborated with ministry of youth ministry of youth affairs and sports the name of campaign is catch the rain and it is a awareness generation campaign next question is a fungal disease named mucormycosis is registered in covid-19 patients of which state so recently some of the patients in gujarat were affected by this rare fungal infection and it is mucormycosis 
and this is a fungal infection. So some patients, that is some COVID-19 patients in Gujarat were infected by this fungal infection as well. Scientists have discovered an undiscovered population of blue whales in which region? So it was found in West Indian Ocean. Recently, a study was published in Endangered Species Research. And as per this study, the scientists found undiscovered population of blue whales which are living in the Western Indian Ocean. Next question is Super Hornet fighter jet is developed by which company? So it is developed by Boeing. It is American company. So the Super Hornet fighter jet is related to Boeing. Recently, these jets demonstrated the capability with Indian aircraft carriers. National Startup Awards was first launched in which year? So it was first launched in 2019 and it is an initiative by DPIIT. What is DPIIT? It is Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. So it is under Commerce Ministry. Who is the head of commission for air quality management in NCR and adjoining areas which was in use recently? So this commission is headed by M.M. Kutti. M.M. Kutti is the former Chief Secretary of Delhi. Now why this commission was in use? So this is a commission for air quality management in the NCR region. This commission was in use as recently it directed that all industries in Delhi and NCR region should shift to PNG that is piped natural gas. The ISRO is to establish a regional academic center for space that is RACS at which institution. So this will be set up at IIT BHU that is Banaras Hindu University and this will be a regional academic center for space and it will be set up by ISRO that is Indian Space Research Organization. What is the share of center in recently approved post metric scholarship for SC students? SC stands for scheduled caste. So recently union cabinet approved post metric scholarship for more than 4 crore SC students and for this total amount of 59,000 crore rupees was approved. This is approximate amount you need not to remember exact figure. Now out of this much 60% will be provided by the central government and rest will be provided by the state government. And the method of transfer of financial assistance to SC students will be done through DBT that is direct benefit transfer. Which Indian company has developed the country's first indigenous vaccine against pneumonia? So it has been done by SII that is Serum Institute of India. It is Pune based institution and it is headed by Adar Ponawala. So this is the first indigenous vaccine against pneumonia. Now what is the meaning of this term indigenous? It means this is the first vaccine by Indian company. NSE which won an arbitration tribunal award against Indian government in a tax dispute is based in which country? So it is related to UK. It is a company based in UK and recently it was in use because it won an arbitration tribunal award against India. So in simplest term what is the entire issue? See India demanded tax of approximately 2.74 billion dollars from this energy company in 2015. The company approached arbitration tribunal that is AT. Now in this arbitration tribunal there is one member from this company that is KN. There is one member from Indian government and there is one neutral arbiter. Now this arbitration tribunal gave the verdict in favor of this gain energy in this matter of tax dispute. Chinese market regulators filed antitrust probe for monopoly against which company? So this company is Alibaba. Jack Ma is the founder of this company. Recently China filed that means Chinese market regulator filed antitrust investigations for monopoly against this company. Now what is the name of regulator of market in China? It is SAMR that is State Administration for Market Regulation. Which international association has banned to export plastic waste to the poorer countries? So it has been announced by European Union. Now as per the new decision it has banned to export the unsorted plastic to the less industrialized nations outside OECD. So what is the entire issue? See, usually rich countries export this plastic waste to the poor countries and then poor countries throw it in the ocean. Why so? Because in poor countries the 
environment regulations are not that much strict so that's why rich countries transport or export this plastic waste material to poor countries which state has approved a bill to make bodo an associate official language of the state so this has been decided by assam so bodo in devanagari script is going to be an associate official language of assam actually as per the census of 2011 approximately 4.53 percentage of total population of assam speak bodo and that is why this decision was taken exercise yogdan is associated with which category of association so it is related to ncc that is national cadet corps yogdan is a hindi word and it stands for contribution so recently a digital forum dgncc was launched this is a digital forum and this will provide a platform to the ncc cadets to share their experience of various ncc activities which organization released report on the state of mediterranean and black sea fisheries that is so mfi 2020 so this has been released by fao that is food and agriculture organization it is organization of united nations and the report is the state of mediterranean and black sea fisheries and this report has been released by gfcm of fao what is gfcm it is general fisheries commission for mediterranean so as per this report approximately 75 percentage of the fish stocks of mediterranean and of black sea are over exploited however for the first time this overfishing stock has decreased in which year did the consumer protection act come into effect so it came into existence in 1986 to be specific on 24th of december in 1986 and that is why on 24th of december consumer rights day is celebrated and the theme of this year national consumer rights day was the sustainable consumer which union ministry launched swachhta abhiyan mobile application to geo tag insanitary latrines and manual scavengers so this is an initiative by ministry of social justice and empowerment so the name of mobile application is swachhta abhiyan the objective is geo tagging what is the name of online learning platform for itis iti stands for industrial training institutes so what is the name of online learning platform for itis which was launched by skill development ministry so it has been launched by ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship that is msde now the name of this initiative is bharat skills it has been launched by dgt that is directorate general of training the brahmaputra amantran abhiyan which was seen in news recently is to be launched in which states so it is related to arunachal pradesh and assam recently union sports and youth affairs minister kiran rizuzu flagged off this brahmaputra amantran abhiyan and it is a river rafting expedition and this has been launched in arunachal pradesh and assam and this initiative has been launched by ministry of jal shakti in association with ndrf that is national disaster response force india's first hot air balloon wildlife safari has been launched in which state so it has been launched in madhya pradesh so first thing first it is india's first hot air balloon wildlife safari it has been launched in madhya pradesh and it has been launched in bandhogad tiger reserve which indian player has been appointed as the chief selector of national men's cricket team so chetan sharma has been appointed as the chief selector of national men's cricket team now recently cac that is cricket advisory committee also selected two more members to this selection committee and cac will review the candidates and make recommendations to bcci the present president of bcci is saurabh ganguly as per the transport ministry a multimodal logistic park is set to be constructed in which northeast region by 2022 so it will be set up in silchar and silchar is in assam and it will be constructed on the silchar sorastra highway now this was recently announced by transport minister nitin gadkari pradhan portal which was in news is associated with which organization so it is related to isro that is indian space research organization what is isro it is indian space research organization and recently it was in news because of this pradhan portal so 
recently isro released the first set of data from chandrayaan 2 mission so this was india's mission for moon and recently the data related to this mission was released for general public and this data has been released through this pradhan portal and this pradhan portal is hosted by iss dc that is indian space science data center so this is the center of isro nasa state law which was seen in news recently is associated with which country so it is related to israel two years ago israel passed this nation state law now why it was in news recently because recently it was challenged in supreme court a petition has been filed in the apex court of israel and the petitioner asked that this law should be declared as unconstitutional because it is discriminatory which indian state has recently launched fasal rahat yojana and pashudhan yojana so this is an initiative by jharkhand government jharkhand government also decided to waive all the agricultural and farm loans up to rupee 50000 plus the state also announced fasal rahat yojana so this is a scheme to provide relief to the farmers for crop loss which state has been permitted by the finance ministry to borrow after it achieved ease of doing business reform again you need not to remember the amount but you need to understand what is the center issue so finance ministry recently permitted rajasthan government to borrow additional amount after the state achieved ease of doing business reforms so the condition was that you implement these reforms then you can borrow additional amount this was the condition so now rajasthan has joined the five other states these are andhra pradesh karnataka madhya pradesh tamil nadu and telangana so these five states were allowed to borrow more why they were allowed to do so because they implemented these ease of doing business reforms the monpa handmade paper which was in news recently is associated with which state so it is associated to arunachal pradesh recently it was in news because kvic that is khadi and village industries commission decided to revive this monpa handmade paper art actually this is a paper which is made by the people in arunachal pradesh it is a handmade paper now because of the machine paper this art was losing its features so now to revive this art form kvic decided to set up these plants jawahar region in maharashtra is called as mini mahabaleshwar for the cultivation of which produce so it is related to cultivation of strawberries recently the farmers in the tribal areas of jawahar region and in the mokada region of maharashtra started cultivation of strawberries and this led to more employment opportunities in the area and because of this the jawahar region is being called as mini mahabaleshwar actually mahabaleshwar is famous for the cultivation of strawberries now even jawahar region is cultivating these strawberries that's why it is called mini mahabaleshwar ant group which was in news is based in which country so it is related to china and recently regulators in china asked this ant group to rectify its business practices now this ant group owns the china's largest digital payment platform the name of platform is ali pay and it is related to jack ma so this ali pay is owned by jack ma jack ma is a prominent business personality in china in fact he is the founder of alibaba group eastern dedicated freight corridor new section which was in news is funded by which organization so it is being funded by world bank what is dfc that is dedicated freight corridor that means it will be a specific route for freight only freight means luggage or goods so it will be a separate corridor or separate track railway track for goods right now we have passenger track and both trains that means freight trains as well as passenger trains run on the same track but after this dfc this will be exclusively for freights so recently edfc was in news why it was in news because recently prime minister inaugurated new khurja new bhapur section of edfc that is eastern dedicated freight corridor financial support is provided by world bank which country announced to restrict promotion of unhealthy food from april 2022 so this was announced by uk government so as a part of this plan government is going to ban this buy one get one free promotions that means if you buy one packet of unhealthy food you will get 
another such packet. So these kind of promotions are being done by the companies to promote such unhealthy food. Now UK decided that it is going to ban such promotions for the foods which are high in fat or high in sugar or in salt. Why so? Because they are unhealthy food. Next question is which Indian tennis player has been given a singles wild card entry for Australian Open 2021. So Sumit Nagal was given this wild card entry for the Australian Open 2021. On the other hand Andy Murray has received the wild card entry to participate in this event. So this is going to be in Australia. Recently Australia was in use because of RAA that is reciprocal assess agreement. So this is a defense cooperation agreement with Japan. Next question is which country has recently announced the discovery of four new oil and gas fields. So this was announced by Saudi Arabia. Capital of Saudi Arabia is Riyadh. Recently Saudi Arabia was in news because of G20. So in 2020 Saudi Arabia was the president of G20 group. In 2021 Italy is going to be the host of G20 summit. In 2022 Indonesia is going to be the host and in 2023 India will host it. Next question is which is the first private company in India to successfully design develop and test full solid propulsion rocket stage. So this has been done by Skyroot Aerospace. It is a Hyderabad based company and it is the first private company in India to design develop and test a full solid propulsion rocket stage and it has been given the name Kalam 5. So this is named after our former president Dr. Kalam. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news. So first is AR Rahman. Recently, he was appointed as the ambassador for BAFTA Breakthrough India. So what is BAFTA? It is British Academy of Film and Television Arts. So he has been appointed as ambassador for BAFTA Breakthrough India. Next is Papa Boba Diop. So he was well known footballer from Senegal. He passed away recently. Next is Dev Prowse. So he was British weightlifter turned actor. He also passed away recently. He was quite popular for his role of Darth Vader in Star Wars. Next is Virat Kohli. So cricketer Virat Kohli was in news as he became the fastest batsman to reach the milestone of 22,000 international runs. He broke the record of Sachin Tendulkar. Next is Lewis Hamilton. So recently Lewis Hamilton was in news because he won Bahrain Grand Prix. Next is Varsha Josi. So recently she was in news because C has been appointed as the new chairperson of NDDB, that is National Dairy Development Board. Next is Janet Yellen. So recently, US President-elect Joe Biden named Janet Yellen as Treasury Secretary. And C is going to be the first woman to hold that position. Apart from that, US President-elect also announced all women White House communication team. White House is the House of President, like we have Rashtrapati Bhavan. So he appointed Jen Paskey as the White House Press Secretary. Next is Utpal Kumar Singh. So he has been appointed as the new Secretary General of Lok Sabha. He is going to replace Snehlata Srivastava. Now Snehlata Srivastava was the first woman to be appointed as the Secretary General of Lok Sabha. Next is the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the trade and development. So this is a report by Anktad. What is Anktad? It is United Nation Conference on Trade and Development. Next is the state of food and agriculture. So this is a report by FAO that is food and agriculture organization. The headquarters of FAO is in Rome in Italy. Next is Surya Dhar Lake. So recently Uttarakhand Chief Minister Trivendra Singh Rawat inaugurated this Surya Dhar Lake in Dehradun in Uttarakhand. Next is SV Ranganath Task Force. So this is related to Karnataka. This task force was constituted to suggest a roadmap to implement the new education policy. Recently, this task force was in news because it submitted the report to the Karnataka government. Next is Adi Mahotsav. So, it is a festival of tribes. Recently, Tribal Affairs Minister Arjun Munda inaugurated this in virtual mode. And this is being organized by TriFund. Next is Coronavirus Vaccine Development. So, recently, Prime Minister visited three facilities related to Coronavirus Vaccine. So, these are Jaidas Biotech Park and this is in Ahmedabad. Second one was Bharat Biotech Center, this is in Hyderabad and third facility was Serum Institute of India. So it is in Pune. Now recently Hyderabad was also in news because of Hetero 
biopharma this is a hyderabad based entity and it is going to develop sputnik vaccines in our country and for that recently it entered into agreement with rdif that is russian direct investment fund next is future of regional cooperation in asia and pacific so recently this book was released by adb that is asian development bank next is world aids day so it was on 1st of december the theme was global solidarity shared responsibility 1st of december was also celebrated as bsf day that is border security for so it is under ministry of home affairs apart from that 1st of december was also celebrated as nagaland formation day and nagaland was also in news because of hornbill festival and for the first time this festival is being organized virtually because of this pandemic situation this hornbill festival is considered as the festival of festivals apart from that 30th of november was observed as day of remembrance for all victims of chemical warfare so it is a day for the victims of chemical warfare on the other hand 29th of november was observed as the international day for solidarity with palestinian people machine road so it is a new mobile app and it has been developed by fast bowler from new zealand and his name is loki ferguson so he along with his brother mitch ferguson developed this app to measure the bowling speed recently new zealand was also in news as new zealand declared climate change emergency so recently this machine road app was developed by the cricketer loki ferguson one more cricketer was in news he is virat kohli recently he completed 22000 runs so these are international runs and he also completed 12000 odi runs that is one day international runs he became the fastest batsman to do so so these two are different events next is ots that is one time settlement scheme so this is a scheme announced by goa government why this was announced to provide waiver for the payment of electricity due so for the payment of electricity bills it is a waiver scheme announced by goa government next is omela matodka so she is a bollywood actress she was in news as recently she is joined shiv sena it is a political party and the party president is present maharashtra chief minister uddhav thakre next is boris johnson so he was in news because for the 2021 republic day he has been invited as a chief guest as per the media reports he is the prime minister of uk recently uk was also in news because of pfizer bio and tech so recently uk gave approval to this vaccine by pfizer bio and tech and uk became the first country in the world to approve this vaccine for covid-19 next is gst collection so this time as well gst collection crossed the mark of 1 lakh crore so in october it was 105 155 crore in november it was 104 Nine six three crores. Now these figures are important for certain exams. Next is Marcos, that is Marine Commandos. So recently, Indian Navy deployed these Marine Commandos in the Pangong Lake area of Eastern Ladakh. Next is Lens. It stands for the Landing Solution. So it has been launched by PNB, and it is Loan Management System. Next is Global Corruption Barometer Asia 2020. So it has been released by. Transparency International. It is a Berlin-based non-governmental organization. It also publishes Corruption Perception Index. Now coming back to this Global Corruption Barometer. So this was Asia-specific, and as per this, India is on top position in terms of corruption in Asia. So India has the highest bribery rate in Asia. It is thirty-nine percent. Next is World. Malaria report. So this was recently released by WHO, that is World Health Organization. Next is Indian icon, a cult called Royal Enfield. So this was a book, and it has been authored by Amrit Raj. Next is Sandeep Kataria. So recently, Sandeep Kataria has been appointed as the CEO, the global CEO of Bata. Bata is a footwear company, and the headquarters of Bata is in Lausanne, in Switzerland. intellectual property so recently india and usa signed an agreement to cooperate in the field of intellectual properties and in the field of protection of intellectual property for next 10 years so this is related to india us next is uday shankar 
So he has been named as the new president of FICCI, that is Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. He is going to be the successor successor of Sangeeta Reddy. Next is World Trade Report. So this has been released by WTO, that is World Trade Organization. Next is Nongpok Sekmai Police Station. So this is the best police station in our country. And this police station is in Manipur, while Sora Mangalam Police Station in Salem in Tamil Nadu is on second position and Karsang Police Station in Arunachal Pradesh is on third position. Next is New Zealand. So New Zealand was in news because it declared climate emergency and it also announced that its public sector, that means government entities, would be carbon neutral by 2025. Next is online gaming. So recently Andhra Pradesh Assembly passed Andhra Pradesh Gaming Bill to ban online gaming in the state. Next is 4th December. So it was celebrated as Navy Day and the theme was Indian Navy Combat Ready, Credible and Cohesive. 4th of December was also celebrated as DRI Foundation Day. What is DRI? It is Directorate of Revenue Intelligence. Apart from that, 4th of December was also celebrated as International Day of Banks. On the other hand, 3rd of December was observed as International Day of Persons with Disabilities. Next is CCTV cameras. So recently Supreme Court, the apex court of our country, directed the central and state government that they should install CCTV cameras in all the police stations as well as in the other offices of crime investigation agencies. Why it was done? It was done because there were various instances of torture in the police custody. So that's why the court ordered that there should be cameras in the police stations and the offices of these crime investigation agencies so that the cases of police custody torture can be prevented. Next is Fortune India 500 ranking. So as per this ranking, Reliance is on top position while IOC that is Indian Oil Corporation Limited is on second position and ONGC is on third position. It has been published by Fortune India. Next is Kotec Wealth Hurun Wealthy Women List 2020. So this has been compiled by Kotec and Hurun. As per this list, Roshni Nada of HCL is on top position and Kiran Majumdar Show of Biocon is on second position. Next is David Malan. So David Malan is a cricketer of England. Why he was in news? Because he reached a score of 915 points in the ICC men's T20 ranking and he became the first player to cross the mark of 900. That's why he was in news. Next is Bidhari. So it is in Karnataka. Why it was in news? Because Karnataka government is going to set up first of its kind waste to energy plant and it will be in Bidhari in Karnataka and this is going to be a 11.5 megawatt power plant. So in this power plant, the energy will be generated from the municipal waste and it will be set up by KPCL that is Karnataka Power Corporation Limited. Next is SDFC Bank. So recently RBI ordered its, RBI ordered SDFC Bank to hold its digital launches. That means now it has put a limitation on the digital launches of certain initiatives of SDFC Bank. Now under this, it has put a hold on digital 2.0 initiative of SDFC. It also put a limitation on the new credit card customers of SDFC Bank. Now in last news, one more important thing was there. Recently Karnataka was also in news because of Art Park. So this Art Park has been set up in Bengaluru in Karnataka. And what is full form of Art Park? It stands, it stands for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Technologies Park. So this has been set up by IASC Bangalore and this is going to be a non-for-profit foundation. Next is India's first 100 octane premium petrol. So what is the meaning of this term octane? So octane measures the fuel stability. Higher octane numbers means it is more stable and therefore it will increase the fuel efficiency. So recently India's first 100 octane premium petrol was announced and it has been launched by IOCL that is Indian Oil Corporation Limited and it will be marketed under XP 100. So this is the name. So this is the name under which it will be promoted and IOCL has developed this 
at it at its Mathura refinery in Uttar Pradesh. Next is Global Terrorism Index. So this index has been prepared by IEP, that is Institute of Economics and Peace, and it is a Sydney-based institute. Sydney is in Australia. So as per this Global Terrorism Index, Afghanistan is the most terror-affected country, and India is on eighth position. And in India, Jammu and Kashmir is the most affected region and Chhattisgarh is the second most affected region because of terrorism. So Afghanistan is the most affected country because of terrorism and it is followed by Iraq and Nigeria. Passex. So this is a joint exercise conducted by Indian Navy and by Russian Navy and it was conducted in Eastern Indian Ocean region. Next is IAIS that is International Association of Insurance Supervisors. So recently it was in news because IFSCA that is International Financial Services Center Authority. Recently IFSCA obtained the membership of this IAIS. Next is Gitanjali Rao. So she is Indo-American. Why she was in news recently? Because she has been named as the first ever kid of the year by the Time magazine. Why she was selected for this? Because of her work to use the technology to solve common problems. Next is ETPB that is electronically transmitted postal ballot paper. So recently election commission said the law ministry that now they are ready to provide the postal ballot facility to the NRI voters. Right now NRI voters can vote as overseas voters. A detailed video on this topic is already uploaded on Civil's Academy. You can check it from there. Next is 40 years with Abdul Kalam untold stories. So recently Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu released this book based on Dr. Kalam, our former president. And this book has been authored by A.S. Pillai. Next is Global Wage Report. So this wage report was recently released by ILO, that is International Labour Organization. ILO was founded in 1919. So recently it completed 100 years. The headquarters of ILO is in Geneva in Switzerland. Next is Guzral Doctrine. So I.K. Guzral provided a set of principles for our relationship with our neighbors. That means India's relationship with our neighbors. I.K. Guzral was our former Minister of External Affairs and then he became the Prime Minister as well. Why he was in news recently? Because Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu released a commemorative postage stamp in the honor of former Prime Minister of India, I.K. Gujral. Next is Dineshwar Sarma. So Mr. Sarma was the administrator of Lakshadweep. He passed away recently. He was the former head of IB as well. IB is Intelligence Bureau. It is our internal intelligence agency row. That is Research and Analysis Wing is our external intelligence agency. Next is Sign Trial. So Sign Trial is related to tuberculosis. Sign stands for Shorter Treatment for Minimal Tuberculosis in Children. So recently, the preliminary report of Sign Trial was released. It is related to TB, that is tuberculosis. Next is Major Heart Bridge. So this bridge is in Kolkata in West Bengal. Recently, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee named this bridge as Jai Hind Bridge to commemorate the 125th birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Next is Arecibo Observatory. So this observatory is in Puerto Rico. Why it was in news recently? Because it collapsed. And this is also known as NAIC, that is National Astronomy and Ionosphere Center. So this was observatory, that means space observatory in Puerto Rico. And it was owned by NSF, that is National Science Foundation, Pixel. So it is a startup company and it is related to space technology. The headquarters is in Bengaluru. Why it was in news? Because recently it signed agreement with ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization. And as per this agreement, ISRO is going to launch the first remote sensing satellite of Pixel. Next is Urban Quality Index. So this has been released by IIT Bombay. So as per this index, Chennai is the most women-friendly city and Patna is the least women-friendly city. In terms of transport, Delhi is on top position and Indore was on bottom position. In terms of basic amenities, Pune 
was on top position and Patna was on bottom position. Next is Hampi Stone Chariot. So recently ASI that is Archaeological Survey of India decided to take steps to protect this stone chariot and now it has placed wooden barricades. Now this stone chariot is situated at Vijaya Vithal Temple Complex and it is in Hampi. Now ASI is Archaeological Survey of India and it is under Culture Ministry. Next is Adar Poonawala. So the CEO of Serum Institute of India, Adar Poonawala has been named among the six Asians of Year. So he is one of the six. This Asians of the Year was released by the Straight Times. It is a leading newspaper from Singapore. Next is Narendra Singh Kapani. So recently he passed away. He was Indo-American and he is known as the father of fiber optics. Next is Energy Efficiency Report 2020. So it was released by International Energy Agency. The headquarters of IEA is in France in Paris. It is important to note that India is associate member of IEA since 2017. Next is 3R framework. So this was jointly launched by United Nations, European Union and World Bank. And this 3R stands for reform, recovery and reconstruction. So this is a plan for the recovery and reconstruction to put Lebanon on the path of sustainable development. Next is Cody Anderson. So he is a cricketer from New Zealand and recently he announced his retirement from all forms of cricket. Next is Basanchar Island. So this island was in use because of Bangladesh. Actually Bangladesh is shifting the Rohingya refugees on this Basanchar Island and this island is in BOB that is Bay of Bengal. Next is also related to Bangladesh. So recently Bangladesh signed its first PTA that is preferential trade agreement with Bhutan and it signed this agreement on 6th of December. Why it is so special? Because on 6th of December Bangladesh marked the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relationship with Bhutan and Bhutan was the first country in the world to recognize Bangladesh as independent country. United Nations Investment Promotion Award. So this award was given to Invest India and this has been given by UNCTAD. What is UNCTAD? It is United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Next is Recover with Integrity. So every year on 9th of December, this International Anti-Corruption Day was observed and this year the theme was Recover with Integrity. Next is WHO Foundation. So recently Anil Soni became the new CEO of this WHO Foundation. Anil Soni is of Indian origin and he is a well-known health expert. Next is formula to race. So recently Jehan Daruwala created history as he became first Indian to win this formula to race at Sakhir Grand Prix in Bahrain and Sergio Prej won the 2020 Sakhir Grand Prix. Next is Ravindranath Tagore Literary Prize. So Raj Kamal Jha was selected for this prize and he was selected for his novel The City and the Sea. Next is QRMP scheme. So it is related to GST that is goods and service tax. Recently central government announced the scheme for the small taxpayers whose annual aggregate turnover is up to 5 crore rupees. So what is this QRMP? It is quarterly return and monthly payment of taxes. So the full form is self-explanatory. Next is break dance. So in 2024 Olympic Games break dance will be the part of Olympic and these Olympic Games will be organized in Paris. So break dancing will be the first dance sport event to appear at Olympic Games. Next is International King Bhumi Bowl World Soil Day Award. So this award was given to ICAR that is Indian Council of Agriculture Research and this was given on the occasion of World Soil Day and this award has been presented by FAO that is Food and Agriculture Organization. World Soil Day is on 5th of December. Next is India's first diversified REIT mutual fund. Now what is this REIT? It stands for Real Estate Investment Fund. So Kotak Mahindra Asset Management Company has launched India's first diversified 
REIT mutual fund. Next is World Economic Forum. So usually this is organized in Davos, but this time that means in 2021, it will be organized in Singapore. Next is Asia Cup. So it is a cricket tournament and next year it will be organized by Sri Lanka. And in 2022, it will be organized by Pakistan. Next is iMobile Pay. So this has been launched by ICICI Bank. It is a mobile payment app. Next is 100% organic. So Sikkim is the first state in our country to be 100% organic. And now Lakshadweep is the first union territory to become 100% organic. Next is Central Jew Authority. So recently Central Jew Authority granted recognition to new Jew. One is Rasgir Jew Safari in Nalanda. So it is in Bihar. And another one is Sahid Ashfaqullah Khan Prani Udyan. And it is in Gorakhpur in Uttar Pradesh. So recently Central Jew Authority give recognition these two new Jew. Next is Eco Duct or Eco Bridge. So recently Ramnagar Forest Division built its first Eco Bridge. And this is for reptiles and mammals. Now what is the meaning of this term eco bridge or eco duct? Suppose there is one ecological area and this is another ecological area. Now reptiles or the mammals will be able to visit these two areas with the help of this eco duct. That means it is a connective path so that will provide access to these areas without human intervention. Next is Madhukar Gangadhar. So he was the writer of AI R, that is all India radio. He was prominent Hindi writer. He passed away recently. Climate change performance index. So recently this index was released. As per this index, this year India is on 10th position. Last year India was on 9th position. India's overall score is 63.9A as per this index. Now as per this index, no country is on first top 3 positions. That means no country is performing good enough to be on first top three positions and Sweden is on fourth position, UK is on fifth and Denmark is on sixth position. This index has been developed by German watch and for this it collaborated with New Climate Institute and CAN that is Climate Action Network. So as for this index, USA is the worst performer and it is on bottom position. USA was on 61st position and Saudi Arabia is on 60th position. Next is millennials tax. So Argentina has decided to introduce a special tax and this will be imposed on the wealthiest people of the country and then this money will be used for the medical supplies and for the relief measures and it is known as millennials tax. Next is Narmada landscape restoration project. So recently NTPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation has signed an agreement with IIFM. It is in Bhopal. Now what is IIFM? It is Indian Institute of Forest Management. So NTPC signed this agreement with IIFM Bhopal for the implementation of this Narmada landscape restoration project. That means to restore the landscape of Narmada. Now this IIFM Bhopal is autonomous institute under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. And this NTPC is under Ministry of Power. Next is Biofuel Development. So for the development of biofuel, ADB, that is Asian Development Bank, approved $2.5 million support for the technical assistance. Next is India Mobile Congress 2020. So recently Prime Minister inaugurated this Congress and the theme is Inclusive Innovation, Smart, Secure, Sustainable. And this IMC that is India Mobile Congress has been organized by COAI that is Cellular Operators Association of India in association with Department of Telecommunications. Next is Hexa X. So this is a project which is funded by European Union and the focus of this project is on the next generation of mobile technology that is 6G and for this project Nokia has been appointed as the leading entity. So what is Hexax? It is a project for mobile technologies that is next gen mobile technologies. It is funded by European Union and Nokia is leading this project. Next is 2020 World Athletes of the Year. So Mondo Duplantis and Yulima Rosas are the 
2020 World Athletes of the Year. So he is male, she is female. Yulimar is from Venezuela and Mondo Duplantis is from Sweden. He is pole vaulter and she is triple jumper. Next is William Shakespeare. So William Shakespeare from England became the first man to receive the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Next is TCS that is Tata Consultancy Services. So TCS has been selected as super brand in UK. Next is IPL that is Indian Premier League. So IPL was India's most searched keyword in 2020 on Google. And Joe Biden was the top trending personality in India as per Google data. Next is Raj Chauhan. So recently Raj Chauhan has been appointed as a speaker of British Columbia Legislative Assembly. He is Indian origin legislator in Canada. Next is Parthiv Patel. So he is cricketer. Recently he announced his retirement from all formats. Next is double eight four eight point eight six meters. So this is the new height of Mount Everest. And recently Nepal and China jointly conducted an exercise to measure the Mount Everest. And as per this new measurement, the height is this much. And this is 86 centimeter taller than the previous estimation. Previous estimation, that means previous measurement was done by India in 1954. Next is Tharu Tribals. So recently Uttar Pradesh government announced a scheme for Tharu Tribals. Now the government will train these tribal people and the idea is to promote tourism in these areas. So this will provide them employment opportunities and therefore they will be economically independent. So this tribe is associated to Uttar Pradesh. Next is International Day of Epidemic Preparedness. So recently United Nations approved that 27th of December will be observed as International Day of Epidemic Preparedness. Next is Smuggling in India report. So this is a report prepared by DRI that is Directorate of Revenue Intelligence and it is released by Finance Ministry. This DRI is under CBIC and CBIC is under Finance Ministry. What is CBIC? It is Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. Next is Covin. So this is a digital platform which will be used to oversee the vaccination process in our country. So on this platform, people will be able to register themselves for vaccine. Next is Gwalior and Orcha. So these two sites in Madhya Pradesh were included in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Cities under its World Heritage Cities program. So these two sites are in Madhya Pradesh. Next is new policy on school bag. So recently Ministry of Education drafted a new policy on school bag and as per this policy, the school bags should not be more than the 10% of the body weight of students across class 1st to class 10th and there should be no bags in pre-primary. Next is RRB that is Regional Rural Bank. So recently RBI that is Reserve Bank of India, the regulator of banking sector in our country allowed RRBs to assess liquidity adjustment facility, MSF that is marginal standing facility and to assess coal or notice money market. Now there are a lot of terms so please read about what is coal money, what is notice money, what is LAF that is liquidity adjustment facility, what is MSF, how MSF is different from bank rate, how repo rate under LAF is different from reverse repo rate. Next is Karad Janta Sahkari Bank. So recently RBI cancelled the license of this Karad Janta Sahkari Bank and it is in Maharashtra and this license has been cancelled as the bank do not have adequate capital and earning prospectus. Now what will happen to the money of depositors? So the money is insured under the provisions of DICGC. What is DICGC? It is an entity of RBI and it is Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation. So this provide insurance cover for the money up to 5 lakhs. Previously this limit was 1 lakh. Now it was extended up to 5 lakh. That means if you have deposited money up to 5 lakh and if the bank fails then this much money will be provided by DICGC. Rest of the money will be provided only after the liquidation of that bank. Dharma decoding the apex for a meaningful life. So this is new book by 
Amish Tripathi and it is co-authored by Bhavna Roy. Next is National Health Mission. So recently, ICICI Bank became the designated bank for all the financial transactions related to National Health Mission in West Bengal. That means all the financial transactions will be done through ICICI Bank. All the financial transactions related to National Health Mission in West Bengal. Next is Goldman Environmental Prize. So this prize is also known as Green Nobel Prize and it is given to six environmental activists from six different continents. From Asia, it was given to Paul Sain Tawa and he is environment activist from Myanmar. Next is Anika Sorenstam. So recently, Anika Sorenstam from Sweden got elected as the new president of International Golf Federation. And the headquarters of this International Golf Federation is in Lausanne in Switzerland. Next is SENA, that is South Africa, England, New Zealand and Australia. So recently Virat Kohli became the first Indian captain to win T20 series in SENA countries. That means in these four countries. Now one more important fact associated to cricket was that recently Indian spin bowler Yuzvendra Chahal became the first concussion substitute. Actually during one match all-rounder Ravindra Jadeja was hurt and that's why Yuzvendra Chahal substituted him and he became the first concussion substitute. Next is SMAS anti-drone systems. So Indian Navy finalized these anti-drone systems. So these are going to be used by Indian Navy and they will be procured from Israel. An Israeli company Smart Shooter is going to manufacture them. Next is 2023 Indian Ocean Island Games. So previously Maldives was the host but now Madagascar is going to host this event. Next is Jaina Woolridge. So she is from England and recently she was in news as she became the president of World Squash Federation and the headquarters of this World Squash Federation is in UK. Next is state of education report. So this report was recently published by UNESCO. Next is Universal Service Obligation Fund. So recently Union Cabinet approved optical fiber project for Lakshadweep. So with the help of undersea optical fiber, Lakshadweep will be connected to Kochi. And the financial support for this project will be provided through this USOF that is Universal Service Obligation Fund. Few months ago, a similar project of submarine cables was started for Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Next is PM Wani. So recently Union Cabinet approved this new project. It stands for Wi-Fi SS Network Interface. So the idea is to provide public Wi-Fi hotspots. Next is Justice Rajesh Bindal. So recently Justice Rajesh Bindal became the Chief Justice of Combined High Court of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Union Territory of Ladakh and he is the successor of Justice Geeta Mittal. Next is Recover Better Stand Up for Human Rights. So this was the theme of World Human Rights Day and it was on 10th of December. In our country we have NHRC that is National Human Rights Commission and it is a statutory body. Apart from that on 8th of December Submarine Day was celebrated in the memory of INS Kalwari. So this was the first submarine to be inducted in Indian Navy in 1967 and it was inducted on 8th of December. So in that memory we celebrate Submarine Day. Next is Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid. So recently he was reappointed as the Prime Minister of Kuwait. Next is Bereshit second project. So this is related to Israel and it is Israel's mission for moon. The previous mission was Bereshit and it failed because it crashed and that's why the second Bereshit project is being launched by Israel. So the idea is to land on the surface of moon. Next is better than cash alliance. So this alliance is an association of different countries and companies and international organizations to promote digital transactions instead of cash. And India is a part of this alliance since 2015 and it is based at United Nations. Why it was in news recently? Because India collaborated with this alliance to promote fintech solutions. Next is Atam Nirbhar Bharat Rozgar Yojana. So this is your homework. Please read about this scheme 
and last news is related to Atmanirbhar Women Gold Scheme. So this scheme has been announced by Bank of Baroda, and under this scheme, the bank will offer loans at a discount, and this will be done to make women self-reliant. Ludovic Orban. So he was the Prime Minister of Romania, and recently he stepped down. He was associated to P N L party. What is P N L? It is National Liberal Party. Now Nicolae Sioka has been appointed as interim prime minister. Interim means for the time being. That is temporary. Next is Carolina Araujo. So she is from Brazil. Recently she was in news because she was selected for 2020 Ramanujan Prize for Young Mathematician. So she is associated to Brazil and she won this. Price. Next is Coilvar Briz. So recently, Mr. Nitin Gadkari, the Minister of Road Transport and Highways, inaugurated this bridge, and it is a bridge over Son River, and it is in Bihar. Next is CNIL France. So it is a data privacy regulator. That is, the CNIL is a data privacy regulator. Now you need not to remember the full form because it is in French. So recently, CNIL was in news because it has fined. Google and Amazon for breaching the rules on advertising the cookies. So these companies breached the policy regulations and they advertised. That means they used the cookies information of users. So Google was fined 100 million euros and Amazon was fined 35 million euros. Next is Asia Pacific Vaccine Access Facility. So it was launched by ADB, that is Asian Development Bank, to assist the Developing countries to secure vaccine. So, Asian Development Bank will provide support to developing countries so that they can procure the safe and effective coronavirus vaccine. Next is NB IoT Network. Now, what is NB? It is narrowband. IoT stands for Internet of Things. So, Skylo Tech India has decided to collaborate with BSNL, and now BSNL is going to launch world's first satellite-based narrowband. IoT network. So this is going to be the world's first. Next is mountain biodiversity. So this was the theme of Mountain Day, and it was on 11th of December. 11th of December was also celebrated as UNICEF Day. 12th of December is celebrated as International Day of Neutrality, and recently 8th of December was celebrated as SARC Day. So SARC is Association of South Asian Countries, and the members of SARC are MBBS Pain. So recently. 36th Sark Charter Day was celebrated on 8th of December because on this day in 1985 the first Sark summit held in Dhaka in Bangladesh. Next is ASEAN Defence Ministers Meeting that is ADMM Plus. So it was a Defence Ministers Meeting and the participants were ASEAN countries that is 10 ASEAN countries and eight dialogue partners. So these eight partners are India, USA. Russia, New Zealand, Australia, China, Korea, and Japan. Next is Sports Person of the Year. So in male category, it was given to Bajrang Punia, and in female category, it was given to Elavnil Valarivan. Bajrang Punia is associated to wrestling, and she is associated to shooting. Next is 50 Asian celebrities in the world. So this was a list which was compiled by a UK newspaper, and as per this list, Indian actor. Sonu Sood is on top position. Next is National Center for Divyang Empowerment. So recently, this center was started in Telangana, and now this is a first of its kind center where Divyang warriors of CAPF, that is Central Armed Police Forces, will be reskilled, and other facilities will be provided to such Divyang warriors. Now, who are Divyang warriors? So these are the people of Central Armed Police Forces who. Suffered injuries in the line of duties. That means who got injured while serving the nation. So the center will provide them new skills so that they can be provided support for the rehabilitation. And last news is related to new parliament. So please take a screenshot of this as the examiner may ask you factual questions like the theme of interiors. So the theme of Lok Sabha interior will be peacock. Peacock, and it is our national bird. In case of Rajya Sabha, the theme will be lotus. It is our national flower, and the theme of central lounge 
is going to be Banyan. It is our national tree. It will have a capacity of triple eight Lok Sabha members and 384 Rajya Sabha members. So to host joint sessions, the capacity is one to seven to seats. The contractor is Tata Projects Limited and architect is HCP Design. The estimated cost is 971 crore. The shape is triangular and it is going to be a four story parliament building. And this is part of Central Vista redevelopment project. Now, please don't panic when you see different information. For example, here in this Times of India article, the cost is given as 970 crore. In this The Hindu screenshot, it is given as 971 crore. So the examiner will give you a round figure. They won't give you two close options. Total area is 64,500 square meters. And this new parliament building will not have a central hall. It will have a central lounge and the theme will be Banyan tree. Reintroduction of African cheetah. So WII, that is Wildlife Institute of India, is looking for the sites for the reintroduction of African cheetah. And for this purpose, four sites were shortlisted in Madhya Pradesh. And these four sites are Konopalpur Sanctuary, Noradei Sanctuary, Gandhi Sagar Sanctuary and fourth one is Madhav National Park. So these four sites were shortlisted for the reintroduction of African cheetah. Now what is the meaning of this term reintroduction? See in our country African cheetah were declared extinct. Now we are going to get them from some other country and we will try to reintroduce them in our local habitat. So for this purpose these sites were shortlisted. All these sites are in Madhya Pradesh. Next is ISA care program. So ISA stands for International Solar Alliance. So under this ISA care program, International Solar Alliance will provide support to the LDC that is least developed countries and developing countries. What kind of support will be provided? The support of power generation through sun. Once this power will be generated, that means the objective is to make sure that electricity is generated from sun and with the help of that electricity, cold storage facilities will be provided so that vaccine storage can be ensured. So in simplest term, this ISA care program is associated to solarization of healthcare facilities in least developed countries and in developing countries. What is the meaning of solarization? That means generation of electricity with the help of sun. So this electricity generation will be done in these healthcare facilities and then this electricity will be used for the cold storage of vaccines. The headquarters of ISA is in Gurugram in Gwalpahari in Haryana. Next is India's first LGBT plus workplace equality index. So recently this index was launched by Keshav Suri Foundation. It is a non for profit organization and this index provide a benchmark for the employers to measure their own progress on the inclusion of LGBT community at the workplace. Next is land survey. So. Recently, Andhra Pradesh government signed MOU that is Memorandum of Understanding with Survey of India for the land survey in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Now the Survey of India is under DST that is Department of Science and Technology. DST is under Ministry of Science and Technology. Under this ministry two departments are there. One is DBT that is Department of Biotechnology. Another one is DST that is Department of Science and Technology. Next is Justice Jain Committee. So this committee was constituted by Supreme Court for investigation of ISRO case of 1994. Now in this case, ISRO scientist Nambi Narayan was falsely accused and later he was acquitted by the Supreme Court. And then Supreme Court constituted this committee to find out the real culprits of this case. Now why it was in news recently because this committee will start its work now. Next is 7th schedule. So recently 7th schedule was in use as the chairperson of 15th finance commission N.K. Singh suggested that the 7th schedule of Indian constitution should be revised. Why it should be done and what is 7th schedule? So 7th schedule contains three list union list, concurrent list and state list. So this list provides for the subjects for the legislation that means different subjects are allocated to central government and state government on which they can make laws. So as per Mr. N. K. Singh, this should be revised so that more cooperation can be ensured between the central and state government. Next is 
Global Health Estimates 2019. So recently this report was released by WHO, that is World Health Organization. Recently WHO was also in news as it released Malaria Report. Next is Shahtut Dam. So this is in Afghanistan. India is going to help Afghanistan for this dam project. And this is going to be over Maidan River. And this Maidan River is the tributary of Kabul River. Next is Mahasarad. So this is new initiative which will be started by Maharashtra government. So under this initiative, differentially abled person will be provided support. What is the full form of this Mahasarad? It stands for Maharashtra System of Health Rehabilitation and Assistance for Divyang. Now recently Maharashtra was also in news as it decided to give the industry status to film sector. Now what will happen because of this? See, once any sector get industry status, then it will be able to get loan easily and that too at lower interest rate. So this will help the film sector. And last news is related to Pratas Islands. So it is in South China Sea. It is also known as Dongsha Islands and it is under the jurisdiction of Taiwan. Recently, it was in news because of the presence of China around this island. So three important points about this island are it is in South China Sea. It is also known as Dongsha Island and it is under the jurisdiction of Taiwan. NSDC Baiju. NSDC is National Skill Development Corporation. So NSDC signed agreement with Baiju to support the skilling of teachers and trainers. Next is Jagananna Jiva Kranti. So it is a scheme related to Andhra Pradesh and under the scheme, ships and goats will be given to women to improve their living standard. So it will be a type of economic support and this will help in improving their income and therefore it will help in upgrading their lifestyle. Next is District Development Council. So recently this DDC that is District Development Council was in use as DDC elections were conducted in Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. So this is first time that these elections are conducted after revocation of Article 370 in the Union Territory. So now each district in Jammu and Kashmir Union Territory will have such DDC and these DDC will have jurisdiction over the entire district except municipal areas. Next is International Bharti Festival. So recently Prime Minister addressed this festival through video conferencing and this was organized by Vanavil Cultural Center and this was organized to celebrate the birth anniversary of Mahakavi Subramanya Bharti. He was a prominent poet and journalist from Tamil Nadu. And on this occasion, the 2020 Bharti Award was given to Sini Vishwanathan. Next is Dajipur Sanctuary. So it is in Maharashtra. Recently, Maharashtra government approved financial support for the development of this Dajipur Sanctuary. And this is a part of Radhanagari Wildlife Sanctuary. Next is Julian Jefford. So Julian Jefford was in news as Ola, the cab sharing company, has appointed Julian Jefford as the head of Ola's electric vehicle business in Europe. Next is Paolo Rossi. So he was well known footballer from Italy. He passed away recently and he played a crucial role in 1982 World Cup victory. So he was associated to football and he is the only male player in the history to win World Cup golden boot golden ball and ballon d'or awards in one year that means in the same year he won all these four awards and he is the only male to do so next is shakti act so this is an act related to maharashtra actually maharashtra government approved a new bill and this bill has been approved to prevent the crime against women so this is similar to disha act by andhra pradesh the intention behind such legislation is to prevent crime against women by ensuring strict punishment for such criminals. Next is Climate Ambition Summit 2020. So the summit was in use as Prime Minister addressed the summit. And during his speech, he mentioned that India is on track to achieve its Paris Agreement commitments. Now in this context, please read about INDC and what are India's commitments under this INDC. So this 
Climate Action Summit 2020 was co-hosted by United Nations, France and UK. Next is Health for All, Protect Everyone. So this was the theme of Universal Health Coverage Day and this was celebrated on 12th of December. Next is Cornell University. So recently Cornell University was in use as Maharashtra government signed first of its kind agreement for an incubation center in Navi Mumbai and for this it has signed agreement with Cornell University. So in these centers entrepreneurs will be trained and this is first incubation center set up by Cornell University outside USA. That means it is first such center outside USA by this Cornell University. And Maharashtra government also signed agreement with XED Institute of Management to launch Cornell Maha 60. So this XED Institute is Asia partner for Cornell. So under these initiative, the entrepreneurs will be trained. And last news is related to India Water Impact Summit. So recently fifth India Water Impact Summit was organized and the theme of this summit was Earth Ganga River Conservation Synchronized Development. S8 rocket. So it is related to SpaceX and SpaceX is the company of Elon Musk. Now why this rocket was in use recently because it was exploded and it was the first super heavy lift rocket. So SpaceX is planning to use these rockets to send humans to the moon and Mars. So that's why this term S8 is important. It is associated to SpaceX. Next is FX for you. So this is new initiative started by Kenra Bank and this is related to Forex transactions. Forex stands for foreign exchange. Next is Rodham Narsimha. So he passed away recently. He was director of National Aerospace Laboratories. He was aerospace scientist. He was from India. Please remember this. Now apart from him recently Eric Freeman also passed away. He was from Australia and he was cricketer. Next is first ever electricity market report. So this report was released by IEA that is International Energy Agency and as per this report the global electricity demand is going to fall. Why so? Because of the pandemic situation. So this is first ever electricity market report and it has been released by International Energy Agency. Next is Center for Land Governance. So it created an index to provide data about women holding land rights. What does that mean? It means how many women have land registered after their name. In most of the cases, men is the owner of land. So the index was created to find out how many women are the owners of land. So as per this index, only 12.8% women hold land in our country. And in terms of land holding rights for women, Lakshadweep and Meghalaya are on top positions and Punjab and West Bengal are the worst performers in terms of land holding rights for women. Next is free COVID-19 vaccine. So recently Bihar cabinet approved a proposal to provide free COVID-19 vaccine to the people of state. Actually this was promised during the elections. So now Bihar cabinet approved this proposal. Next is Uday Kotak. So he was in use because RBI reappointed him as the MD of Kotak Mahindra Bank. Next is International Tea Day. So it was celebrated on 15th of December. International Tea Day was celebrated on 15th of December and United Nations Tea Day was celebrated on 21st of May for the first time in 2020. Next is Vijay Divas. So it is celebrated to commemorate India's victory over Pakistan in 1971 war. And Bangladesh became a separate country because of this war. So every year on 16th of December, this is celebrated. Previously Bangladesh was part of Pakistan and it was East Pakistan and after this war it became a separate nation. Next is Israel. So recently Israel was in news because Bhutan and Israel established formal diplomatic ties. Israel was also in news as recently Morocco established formal ties with Israel. Next is Martyred Intellectual Day. So it is observed by Bangladesh. Why so? To commemorate the genocide of 1971 in Bangladesh. Last is Dark Pay. So this is new initiative announced by IPPB that is India Post Payment Bank. So it is new digital payment app. Kylie Jenner. So she is from USA. She is a media personality and reality TV star. Why she was in news? Because as per Forbes, she is the 
हाइएस्ट पेड सेलिब्रिटी नेक्स्ट इज राजा चारी सो ही इज ऑफ इंडो अमेरिकन ओरिजन वाई ही वॉज इन यूज बिकॉज नासा एंड ई एस सी आर वर्किंग टूगेदर फॉर स्पेस एक्स क्रू थ्री मिशन सो स्पेस एक्स इज ए प्राइवेट कंपनी नासा इज ए स्पेस एजेंसी ऑफ यू एस ए ई एस ए यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी इज द स्पेस एजेंसी ऑफ यूरोप सो दीज थ्री आर वर्किंग टूगेदर फॉर द स्क्रू थ्री मिशन एंड दिस इज ए मिशन फॉर आई एस एस दैट इज इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन नाउ राजाचारी हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड एज द कमांडर ऑफ दिस मिशन नेक्स्ट इज म्यूजियम ऑन सुभाष चंद्र बोस सो ए म्यूजियम ऑन नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस विल बी सेट अप इन कोलकाता इन वेस्ट बेंगाल एंड दिस म्यूजियम विल बी इनोग्रेटेड ऑन वन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ नेताजी नेक्स्ट इज इकोनॉमिक डिप्लोमेसी वेबसाइट सो रिसेंटली एम ई ए दैट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स लॉन्च दिस इकोनॉमिक डिप्लोमेसी वेबसाइट टू शो द इकोनॉमिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ आवर कंट्री नेक्स्ट इज ई संजीवनी सो इट इज ए टेली मेडिसिन इनिशियटिव एंड इट इज एन इनिशियटिव मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर वाई इट वॉज इन न्यूज बिकॉज रिसेंटली इट क्रोस्ट वन मिलियन टेली कंसल्टेशन वॉट इज दिस टेली मेडिसिन और टेली कंसल्टेशन इट मीन्स यू आर कंसल्टिंग द डॉक्टर ऑनलाइन सो ई संजीवनी इज ए प्लेटफॉर्म टू प्रोवाइड हेल्थ सर्विसेस ऑनलाइन नेक्स्ट इज गोल्डन पीकॉक एनवायरमेंट मैनेजमेंट अवार्ड सो रिसेंटली सेल दैट इज स्टील अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड रिसीव दिस अवार्ड फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इन द स्टील सेक्टर नेक्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी थर्टी एशियन गेम्स सो कतर इज गोइंग टू बी द होस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी थर्टी एशियन गेम्स कतर विल बी द होस्ट ऑफ नेक्स्ट फीफा वर्ल्ड कप एज वेल एंड इन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर सऊदी अरेबिया विल बी द होस्ट ऑफ एशियन गेम्स नेक्स्ट इज सिद्धार्थ चैटर्जी सो रिसेंटली ही वॉज इन न्यूज बिकॉज ही हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज यून रेजिडेंट कोऑर्डिनेटर नेक्स्ट इज ग्रीन अमोनिया सो अमोनिया इज इम्पोर्टेड इन आवर कंट्री फॉर फर्टिलाइजर्स नाउ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया डिसाइडेड दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ इम्पोर्टिंग वी शुड हैव लोकल कैपेसिटी फॉर दिस पर्पज ग्रीन अमोनिया मीन्स द अमोनिया विच हैज बीन प्रोड्यूस्ड थ्रू ए रिन्यूएबल एंड कार्बन फ्री प्रोसेस राइट नाउ द अमोनिया विच वी आर इम्पोर्टिंग इज पोल्यूटिंग द एनवायरमेंट सो दैट इज वाई टू इंटेंशन आर देयर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू रिड्यूस our dependency on import second we have to make it green that is environment friendly and for this purpose mnre that is ministry of new and renewable energy decided that the bid for green india will be conducted by seci that is solar energy corporation of india limited next is losa so it is the new year festival celebrated in ladakh next is asia pacific broadcasting union so the headquarters of this asia pacific broadcasting union is in malaysia in kuala lumpur kuala lumpur is the capital of malaysia why it was in news because recently sashi shekhar vempati has been elected as the vice president of this asia pacific broadcasting union now who is sashi shekhar vempati as of now he is the ceo of prashar bharti prashar bharti is a broadcaster in our country next is swarnim vijay masal so on 16th of december prime minister lit this swarnim vijay masal now this marks the beginning of 50th anniversary year of celebrations of india's victory over pakistan in 1971 war and bangladesh became a separate nation as a result of india's victory over pakistan and that is why we celebrate vijay divas on 16th of december next is kotec health shield so this is the name of first health insurance product by kotec mahindra life insurance company and it is also known as Kotec Life that means the company is also known as Kotec Life and it has launched this Kotec Health Shield next is Netra so it is a space situational awareness center and it has been launched by ISRO that is Indian Space Research Organization and it has been launched at the campus of ISTRAC it is near Bangalore ISTRAC stands for ISRO Telemetry Tracking and Command Network you need not to remember the full form of ISTRAC but you should have just a fair idea next is world anti doping agency so to ensure the clean sport india decided to contribute 1 million dollars to world anti doping agency at national level we have nada that is national anti doping agency and last news is new development bank so recently india signed agreement with new development bank and it is going to provide 1 billion dollar support to india for the revival of indian economy and the duration of this loan is going to be 30 years and it will have a 5 year grace period so the objective is to revive the indian economy through 
infrastructure development. So it will provide financial support for different infrastructure projects. Plus it will help in employment generation through Manrega. Reimbursement of COVID-19 related medical expenses. So Maharashtra government has announced that they are going to reimburse the COVID related medical expenses incurred by the government employees and their family members. That means the government employees who were infected because of Corona and later they were hospitalized. So the state government is going to provide this money to those government employees. That means they do not have to pay it from their own pocket. The government will provide this. Next is best of 2020 FIFA awards. So it was given to two individuals, one in main category and another in female category. So in male category, it was given to Robert Lewandowski and in female category, it was given to Lucy Bronch and she is the first female English player to win this prize. Next is Nehru Geological Park. So first thing first, it is in Telangana. Why it was in news? Because it became the first in India to get ISO certification for quality management. And the certification was given by ASCB that is accreditation services for certifying bodies and it is related to UK that is United Kingdom. So name of geological park is Nehru Geological Park. It is in Telangana. Why it was in use because it is the first to receive ISO certification for quality management. The certification has been given by ASCB that is accreditation services for certifying bodies. Next is court of arbitration for sport. So it is a court to settle the sports related issues through arbitration. The headquarters is in Lausanne in Switzerland. Why it was in news because Russia's ban from international sports events has been reduced by CAS and now it is reduced to two years. That means for next two years Russia won't be able to participate in any world championship or in Olympic Games. Next is Sukhbir Singh Sandhu. So recently he was in news as he is the current chief of NHAI that is National Highway Authority of India and this NHAI is under Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Now he has been given the extension of six months as chairperson of NHAI. That's why he was in news. Next is Jewar Airport. So it is going to be named as Noida International Airport. It is in Uttar Pradesh. Next is National Digital Health Mission. So recently Dr. Harshwadhan, the health minister approved the health data management policy of this national digital health mission. Next is India Indonesia Corporate that is coordinated patrol. So it was 35th edition. It was between India and Indonesia and it was between the navies of two countries. From Indian side, INS Kulish participated in this exercise. Next is E20 fuel. So recently Union Road Transport and Highways Ministry proposed the adoption of this E20 fuel. What is this E20? It is ethanol blended with gasoline. How much ethanol is blended? 20% ethanol is blended. So this will be used as automobile fuel. Next is Padubidri Beach. So it is in Karnataka. Why it was in news? Because the administration has decided to open this beach for the tourist. Recently it was also in news because it received blue flag certification. And this blue flag certification is given by FEE. What is FEE? It is Foundation for Environmental Education and it is a Denmark based entity. Next is world's largest Jew. So Reliance Foundation is going to build world's largest Jew in Jamnagar in Gujarat. Next is reimagining human mobility. So every year International Migrants Day is observed and it is observed on 18th of December. And the theme of this International Migrants Day was reimagining human mobility. Apart from that, 18th of December was also observed as Arabic Language Day. Next is US Space Force. So the members of US Space Force will now be known as Guardians. Next is Prishram Portal. So this portal has been started by Odisha government. Odisha Chief Minister is Navin Patnaik. And this portal will be useful in ease of doing business. And this will help in the industrial development in the state of Odisha. Bala Devi was in news as she became the first Indian woman to score a goal in the professional European football event. So she is the first Indian woman to score a goal in the professional European football league. Next is great conjunction. So this term was in use in the context of Jupiter and Saturn. So these two planets came close to each other 
in the night of 21st of December. This is historic moment because last time it was observed in 1623 and next time it will be observed in 2080. So the great conjunction means these two bodies that is Jupiter and Saturn came close to each other. Next is Varasat campaign. So it is a campaign by Uttar Pradesh government to resolve the land disputes in the rural areas. So it will help in clarifying the land rights. Next is Motilal Vohra. So the prominent politician of INC that is Indian National Congress passed away. He had served as the governor of Uttar Pradesh and chief minister of Madhya Pradesh. Next is Bengal Basin. So recently Petroleum Minister Dharmendra Pradhan inaugurated the Bengal Basin and it is the first in West Bengal and ONGC started the crude oil production from the Asok Nagar well in this Bengal Basin and with this it became the eighth basin of our country. Next is Nepal. So our neighbor country was in news because the Nepal Prime Minister recommended to dissolve the Parliament of Nepal. The President of Nepal is Vidya Devi Bhandari and she dissolved the Parliament. Now fresh elections will be organized in Nepal. So Prime Minister is KP Sharma Oli. President is Vidya Devi Bhandari. Next is Fukun. So she is a badminton player. She is from Mauritius. Recently, she was in news as Court of Arbitration for Sports has banned her for two years for the violation of doping rules. Recently, Court of Arbitration for Sports also banned Russia. Actually, it reduced the ban period of Russia. Previously, it was four years. Now, it has been reduced to two years. Next is Global Visionary of Sustainable Business and Peace Award. So, Indian business tycoon Ratan Tata has been selected for this award. Next is Human Freedom Index 2020. So as per this index, India is on triple one position. New Zealand is on top position and New Zealand is followed by Switzerland. Syria is on last position. Next is Goa Liberation Day. So on 19th of December, Goa Liberation Day is celebrated as Goa was liberated from Portuguese rule and Indian Armed Forces liberated Goa in 1961. So year was 1961, day was 19 December. It was liberated from Portuguese. Next is Urban Cooperative Bank in Kerala. So recently this bank was in news because RBI imposed a penalty on this bank and it is of 50 lakh. Why this penalty was imposed? For non-compliance of IRAC. Now what is this IRAC? It is Income Recognition and Asset Classification. So for the non-compliance of IRAC norms, RBI imposed fine on this Urban Cooperative Bank in Kerala. Next is Minorities Rights Day. So it is on 18th of December. In India, Minority Rights Day is observed on 18th of December and it is observed by NCM that is National Commission of Minorities. Next is Positive Pay System. So it is a new system introduced by RBI to prevent the check frauds. So it is a system for checks above 50,000. Why it is being introduced? to eliminate the fraud and to enhance the safety of check system. Next is IORA that is Indian Ocean Rim Association. So recently 20th meeting of IORA was organized. It was under the chairmanship of UAE and France became the 23rd member of IORA. Please note that for the year 2019 to 2021 UAE is the chair of IORA. Lewis Hamilton. So he was in news because he has been selected as BBC sports personality of the year 2020. Recently, the status of leopards in India report was released by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Present Minister is Prakash Javdekar. So as per this report, Madhya Pradesh is the leopard state. That means highest leopards are in Madhya Pradesh than in Karnataka and then in Maharashtra. In fact, the highest number of tigers are also in Madhya Pradesh. And as per this report, the population of leopards in India increased by 60 percentage in last four years since 2014. So it is data till 2018. The report was released recently. Next is Sehat. So it is a new health initiative that has been in news and it is a health insurance scheme and it will be launched by the Prime Minister for the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. So it is going to benefit those who are not covered under Ayushman Bharat scheme. Next is Infinite India. So this is a new initiative launched by ICICI Bank. So this is an online platform for foreign countries who want to expand their business in India. 
So ICICI Bank offers banking solution to these entities, whosoever want to set up or expand their business in our country. Next is Samvad conference. So this conference was in news and it is related to India and Japan. Recently, Prime Minister addressed the sixth edition of India Japan Samvad conference. Next is MG Vaidya. So he was veteran journalist. He passed away recently. He was the first official spokesperson of RSS. RSS is Rashtriya Swamsevak Sangh. Next is Bharat Ramamurthy. So he is Indo-American. He was in news because recently US President elect Joe Biden selected him as a member of National Economic Council. Next is Koshi River. So this river was in news as Bihar administration has said that the course of this river that means the path of this river will be diverted. Why it will be diverted? Because to protect an archaeological site in Bhagalpur district. So the stream of this river may cause a damage to this archaeological site. It is quite an old site. It is 2500 years old archaeological site in Bhagalpur district. So to protect this site, the path of river will be diverted. Next is International Human Solidarity Day. So it was observed on 20th of December. Apart from that, National Maths Day was observed on 22nd of December and it was observed on the occasion of birth anniversary of prominent mathematician S. Ramanjun. Next is NATO, that is North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Recently NATO was in use as Russia is going to take part in a joint military exercise of NATO and Russia is going to do so after 10 years. Last time Russia participated with NATO countries for this exercise in 2011. Now next year, that means in 2021, Russia will participate again. The name of this exercise is Aman 2021 and it will be conducted off the coast of Pakistan. It is novel exercise. Next question is OPPO. So OPPO is going to set up its first 5G innovation lab outside China and this lab is going to be in India in Hyderabad. Next is travel insights with Google. So Google has launched this new website to provide the insights into travel data. That means which country attracts tourists, where people want to visit or which booking agent they prefer. So it will provide all the information related to travel data like which hotels are being preferred by the tourist. So this will help in revival of tourism sector. Next is Legion of Merit. So it is award of USA recently US president presented the Legion of Merit Award to our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi. And this award was received by our ambassador in USA on the behalf of Prime Minister Modi. Who is our ambassador in USA? He is Taranjit Singh Sandhu. Next is SHM Enterprise of the Century Award. So this was given to Mr. Ratan Tata. Recently, his entity Tata Motors was in news because of its Go Green initiative. What is so special about this initiative? As per this initiative, the company will plant a tree whenever they are going to sell or service a new vehicle. Military salary package. So recently, Bank of Baroda signed MOU with Indian Navy and with Indian Coast Guard. And as per this memorandum of understanding, the bank will provide customized services to the Navy and Indian Coast Guard. The Bank of Baroda was also in news as recently it renewed its existing memorandum with Indian Army. And that was signed under this military salary package. So it is Baroda military salary package initiative. Under this initiative, Bank of Baroda is providing customized services to the account holders from Indian Army. Next is National Farmers Day. So A, it was on 23rd of December. That is Kisan Divas was on 23rd of December. B point is that it is observed on the occasion of birth anniversary of our former Prime Minister Chaudhary Charan Singh. And he was the fifth Prime Minister of our country. Next is Vineet Agarwal. So recently, Mr. Agarwal was in news as he has taken over as the new president of SOCHAM. What is SOCHAM? It is Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry of India. So Vineet Agarwal is the new president and Sumant Sinha is the new vice president of SOCHAM. Next is HLC. That is High Level Committee on Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. 125th birth anniversary event. So recently union government constituted a high level committee to commemorate the 125th birth anniversary of Netaji Bose. And this high level committee will be headed by our present Home Minister Amit Shah. Next is Jalli Katu. So it is a bull taming sport and it is related to Tamil Nadu. Why it was in news? Because recently Tamil Nadu government 
has given its permission to hold this event with certain restrictions despite covid-19 pandemic situation next is commission for air quality management now recently this commission directed that the industries in delhi should switch over to png that means all industries should switch over to this png what is png it is piped natural gas now few things about this commission this commission is a statutory body and this commission is responsible for the air quality management in the ncr and nearby areas what is ncr it is national capital region so it supersedes please remember that it supersedes all the existing bodies including cpcb cpcb is central pollution control board and it is under ministry of environment forest and climate change but in case of ncr this commission will be the nodal authority for air quality management it is a permanent body previously there was a body epca that is environment pollution prevention and control authority so this epca was responsible for the pollution prevention in ncr now this epca has been dissolved so in simplest term first epca was responsible now it has been dissolved and there is a new permanent commission it is commission for air quality management it superseded all the existing bodies and recently it was in news because it directed the industries should switch over to png that is piped natural gas in the ncr region next is black so recently this black app was in news it is a new investment app which has been launched by clear tax next is tibetan policy and support act so recently this was passed by us congress so as the name suggests it is to support the tibet and this new law will empower the us to impose sanctions on china and to be specific on chinese officials who are going to try to intervene in the process of selection of next incarnation of dalai lama next is fruits portal so fruits stands for farmer registration and unified beneficiary information system so this is a portal which will provide unified services to the farmers recently it was launched by karnataka government so the most important point is that it is related to karnataka government and kenra bank is the first financial institution to start the project under this initiative next is firefly bird diverter so recently ministry of environment forest and climate change started this new initiative to protect gib that is great indian bustard actually these great indian bustard hurt themselves whenever they pass through power lines or electricity lines so that's why these bird diverters will be used on the electricity lines so they based on they work on the basis of reflection so when birds will see it they will change their path and this is how they will not collide with the electricity lines last news is india's first gender data hub so recently un women collaborated with kerala government for this india's first gender data hub national film development corporation why it was in news because recently four media units were merged into this national film development corporation and these four units are film division directorate of film festivals third one is national film archives of india and fourth one is children's film society so now all these four entities were merged into this nfdc that is national film development corporation next is innovate for sdg contest sdg stands for sustainable development goals so recently in this contest the term mock egg was in news what is mock egg it means a egg which is made from the farm based proteins but it will provide nutrition like a real egg however it is made from the farm based crop proteins actually professor kavya dashora secured the first prize at this innovate for sdg contest for this mock egg and professor kavya is a professor of iit delhi next is kilaua volcano so this volcano was in news and it is in hawaii island in usa next is rajaji tiger reserve so this tiger reserve is in uttarakhand why it was in news it was in news because of tiger translocation actually tiger from jim corbett tiger reserve was translocated to this rajaji tiger reserve for the tiger population management next is tokenized payments so recently pay you partnered with google pay for tokenized payments next is dth that is direct to home broadcasting services so recently government approved 100% fdi in dth 
FDI is foreign direct investment. Previous limit was 49%. Now it has been approved to 100%. One more thing. Now the license for DTH will be issued for a period of 20 years. Present limit was 10 years. Next is Sokar and Startha spoke so. So these are two lakes. Recently they were in news because they have been included in the list of Ramsar sites. Ramsar is a convention related to wetlands. So now there are 42 sites. This one, that is, this is a complex of two lakes. So this is going to be considered as a single unit. And this became the 42nd Ramsar site. These are two connected lakes in Ladakh. And it is highest in South Asia. Next is green channel status. So recently LNT defense was given the green channel status from the defense ministry. Why it was given this green channel status? It was given this status for novel weapon systems. LNT stands for Larsen and Tubro. Next is Pansi and MRSM. So MRSM stands for medium range surface to air missile. So recently this missile was in use because it was test fired. And Pansi is UAV that is unmanned aerial vehicle which was test fired from this missile. And for this missile India and Israel are collaborating. So this is developed by DRDO in collaboration with Israel Aerospace Industry. Next is CII. ITC Sustainability Awards, CIA stands for Confederation of Indian Industry. So recently, NTPC, that is National Thermal Power Corporation was selected for this award in CSR domain, that is Corporate Social Responsibility domain. Next is Jago Grahak Jago. So it is a campaign by Consumer Affairs Ministry. Why? It was in use because every year on 24th of December, National Consumer Rights Day is celebrated. Next is Vishwa Bharti University. So it was in news because of its 100 years and Prime Minister is going to address the event of celebrations of 100 years of this Vishwa Bharti University. It is in Shanti Niketan and it is in West Bengal. It was founded by Gurudev Ravindranath Tagore and it was founded in 1921. Next is Covid Grand Challenge. So recently Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in association with MEITY that is Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology launched this COVID Grand Challenge. COVID is a COVID-19 Vaccine Intelligence Network. So this is a network to trace and to track the vaccination process in our country. Recently this challenge was launched to strengthen this Vaccine Intelligence Network and this challenge has been launched by two ministries. That means it is a joint collaboration of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Kanchipuram. This Kanchipuram is in Tamil Nadu. Why it was in news recently? Because LNT, that is Larsen Tubro, constructed a 3D printing building and this was constructed at Kanchipuram in Chennai in Tamil Nadu. So this 3D building has been constructed by LNT. 3D printing is also known as additive manufacturing. Next is permanent court of arbitration. So recently PCA was in news because of Vodafone case. Actually recently PCA that is Permanent Court of Arbitration ruled in the favor of Vodafone in a tax case of 20,000 crore rupees. Now India had challenged this judgment of PCA in Singapore. So one homework for you. The headquarters of this PCA is at Hague in Netherlands. So first judgment came from Netherlands and why? Now it will be challenged in Singapore. Try to find it out. Next is Swachta Abhiyan. So this is a mobile application which has been launched by Union Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment. Next is Mission Sagar 3. So this is a support mission or help mission for Vietnam which has been launched by India. And INS Kiltan will provide the financial support to Vietnam as a part of this Mission Sagar 3. So the objective of this Mission Sagar is to provide HADR that is Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief. Next is Good Governance Day or Susashan Divas. So it is observed on 25th of December on the occasion of birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Apart from that, 25th of December is the birth anniversary of Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya. He was the founder of BHU that is Banaras Hindu University. Next is Rajgir. So it is in Bihar. Recently, it was in news because Bihar is going to construct its first glass bridge in Rajgir. Next is COVID-19 Sabbheta Ka Sankat or Samadhan. That is 
क्राइसिस ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन एंड सोल्यूशन सो दिस इज ए बुक बाई कैलाश सत्यार्थी नेक्स्ट इज ग्लोबल मीडिया एंड फिल्म समिट सो इंडिया विल बी दोस्ट ऑफ दिस समिट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन पी आर इन साइड सो दिस इज ए इनिशियटिव बाई पंजाब गवर्नमेंट इट इज ए मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन एंड वेब पोर्टल सो दिस इज फॉर डिलीवरी ऑफ सर्विसेज टू द सिटीजन नेक्स्ट इज सुभद्रा लोकल एरिया बैंक सो रिसेंटली आर बी आई कैंसल्ड द लाइसेंस ऑफ दिस लोकल एरिया बैंक एंड इट इज सिचुएटेड इन कोलापुर इन महाराष्ट्र सो विद दिस दैट मीन्स विद द कैंसलेशन ऑफ दिस लाइसेंस देर आर ओनली टू लोकल एरिया बैंक ऑपरेटिंग इन आवर कंट्री दीज टू आर कोस्टल लोकल एरिया बैंक एंड सेकेंड इज कृष्णा भीमा स्मृति लोकल एरिया बैंक नेक्स्ट इज फीफा अंडर ट्वेंटी एंड अंडर सेवेंटी वर्ल्ड कप अंडर सेवेंटीन वर्ल्ड कप सो रिसेंटली फीफा डिसाइडेड टू कैंसल द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इवेंट्स ऑफ अंडर ट्वेंटी एंड अंडर सेवेंटीन वर्ल्ड कप एंड द होस्ट फॉर दीज इवेंट्स वर पेरू एंड इंडोनेशिया सो नाउ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एडिशन आर कैंसल एंड देर फॉर पेरू विल बी दोस्ट ऑफ अंडर सेवेंटीन वर्ल्ड कप इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इंडोनेशिया विल बी दोस्ट ऑफ अंडर ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नेक्स्ट इज बी एफ एस आई मूवर्स एंड शेकर्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो दिस वॉज अ रिपोर्ट बाई विजिकी एंड दिस इज अ रिपोर्ट फॉर बी एफ एस आई दैट इज बैंकिंग फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेस एंड इंश्योरेंस एंटिटीज सो एज पर दिस रिपोर्ट एच डी एफ सी इज द टॉप रैंक कंपनी अमंग द हंड्रेड बैंकिंग फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेस एंड इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज एच डी एफ सी इज टॉप बैंकिंग कंपनी एंड आई सी आई सी आई इज ऑन सेकेंड पोजिशन एंड एस बी आई इज ऑन थर्ड पोजिशन नेक्स्ट इज ई संपदा वेब पोर्टल सो दिस इज एन इनिशियटिव बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स दिस इज ए वेब पोर्टल which was launched on the occasion of good governance day and this is celebrated on the birth anniversary of former prime minister atal bihari vajpayee now what is the objective of this e sampada web portal objective is to allocate residential accommodations to the government organizations so to allocate residential accommodations to government organizations or to allocate the office space to the government office space to the government organizations now recently This was launched on the occasion of Good Governance Day, and it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. And on this occasion, recently Himachal Pradesh unveiled a statue of Atal Bihari Vajpayee, and the statue was unveiled at Riz Ground, and it is in Shimla. So it is a statue of Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Next is BBX11 gene. So recently, this gene was identified by IISER, that is. Indian Institute of Science Education and Research so the researchers of IISER found this gene responsible for greening of plants so this gene BBX11 is responsible for the greening of plants this was identified by the researchers of IISER next is international sports university so this will be set up by maharashtra in pune next is india's first mega leather park so this will be set up in kanpur in uttar pradesh next is bijo patnaik university of technology so recently this university was in news as india's biggest hockey stadium will be set up in raurkela raurkela is in odisha and it will be set up at the campus of this bijo patnaik university of technology in raurkela next is career portal so this is an initiative by odisha government and for this initiative odisha government has partnered with unicef and this is a career portal for students next is end of train telemetry so recently east coast railway became the first zone first railway zone in india to use this eott mechanism now what exactly is this eott suppose this is the train this is the pilot or driver and this is the last bogie of this train now to check whether the last bogie is running properly the pilot need to communicate with the last bogie and with the help of this eott that is end of train telemetry this communication will be established so now they won't need guards on the last bogey you might have seen that in trains there is a guard standing at the end of the train next is john hubber so recently john hubber passed away he was associated to wwe and in wwe he was popularly known as luke harper he passed away recently next is class plus so recently saurabh ganguly became the brand ambassador of class plus saurabh ganguly is the present president of bcci next is police ki paath sala so this is an initiative by faridabad police to reduce the gap between youth and police so that 
The intention of this initiative is to change the perception of youth about the police. Faridabad is in Haryana. Next is Neetal Naran. So recently she was in news as she became the first female president of Softball Federation of India. And last is Center for Economics and Business Research. So it is UK based think tank. And as per this think tank, India will be the third largest economy by 2030. So India will be the third largest economy by 2030. However, in 2025, India will be on fifth position. Please note that last year, that is in 2019, India pushed UK and became the fifth largest. However, this year, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, India is again pushed back to sixth position. And by 2025, India will be on fifth position again. And by 2030, India will be on third position. On the other hand, China will be the world's largest economy and it will overtake USA by 2028. So China will be the world's largest economy in 2028. Bihar Saheta mobile app. So recently this mobile app was in use as Bihar government won Digital India Award for this app for e-governance. Now what is e-governance? E-governance means governance through internet technology. E stands for internet or digital. So with the help of this app, Bihar government provided financial assistance to the workers in the time of COVID-19 pandemic. So this app was for financial assistance and why it was in news because it won the Digital India Award. Next is 100th Kisan Rail. So recently Prime Minister flagged off this 100th Kisan Rail and it will run from Maharashtra to West Bengal. In Maharashtra from Sangola to Shalimar in West Bengal. So this was 100th Kisan Rail. Next is EDFC that is Eastern Dedicated Freight Corridor. So it was in use because of new Baupur, new Khurza section. Now what is the meaning of this term freight corridor? See we have railway tracks. Now on those railway tracks passenger trains are operating. So there is a problem of track for freight trains. Freight means th those trains which are carrying goods instead of people. So for these specific trains special railway lines are being set up so that faster delivery of goods can be ensured. Goods means any item be it vegetable, be it fruit or cement or anything. So there are two important dedicated freight corridors. One is Eastern dedicated freight corridor. Another one is Western dedicated freight corridor. And this new Bhapur, new Khurja section of Eastern dedicated freight corridor was inaugurated by Prime Minister recently. So EDFC is from Punjab to West Bengal and Western dedicated freight corridor is from Uttar Pradesh to Maharashtra and they both are connected at one point it is Dadri this Dadri is in Uttar Pradesh and this is the connecting or meeting point of these two that is this one is Eastern dedicated freight corridor and this one is Western dedicated freight corridor next is nature index 2020 artificial intelligence so this was a index released by nature research so as per this index, China is on top position in terms of research publications related to artificial intelligence. And China is followed by USA and India is on third position in terms of publications on artificial intelligence. Next is webinar on secrets and delights of Indian cuisine. So this was organized by MOT that is Ministry of Tourism. And this was organized under Dekho Apna Des initiative. So under this initiative, the special highlights about the tourism destinations and culture of India are shown to make people aware about the diversity of India. Next is Monpa handmade paper. So this is related to Arunachal Pradesh. These are handmade paper and recently KVIC that is Khadi and Village Industries Commission set up a Monpa handmade paper making unit in Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh. So this is old heritage art of Arunachal Pradesh. Now, KVIC is trying to revive it. KVIC is Khadi and Village Industries Commission. It is under MSME Ministry. Next is CBIC, that is Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. So why it was in use? Because it has introduced a new rule in the goods and service tax. So what is the new rule? As per new rule, business with monthly turnover of over 50 lakh rupees will have to mandatorily pay at least 1% of their GST liability in cash. So two specific key terms. One is whose turnover is beyond 50 lakh per month. They will have to pay GST, at least 1% of GST in cash. 
so this is being done to prevent frauds next is in pursuit of justice so it is a autobiography of justice r satcha justice rajinder satcha and he was the head of satcha committee now answer in comment box satcha committee is related to which field next is mini mahabaleshwar so tribal area of jawahar in maharashtra is given the tag of mini mahabaleshwar please note that mahabaleshwar is famous for strawberry next is water quality testing innovation so dpiit that is department of promotion of industry and internal trade collaborated with jal shakti ministry for this water quality testing innovation this is a challenge for developing the devices for testing the quality of water so two ministries collaborated one is commerce ministry one is jal shakti ministry why they collaborated for the innovation of a portable device portable means you can carry it anywhere so portable device for testing the quality of water next is icc spirit of cricket award of decade so this was given to msd that is mahendra singh dhoni next is tips music so recently facebook participated with so recently facebook collaborated with tips music now facebook users will be able to use tips music label next is prantiya rakshak dal so uttar pradesh government is going to constitute this prantiya rakshak dal even in urban areas as well so far it was constituted only for rural areas so it is considered as alternative security force next is jhatpat processing so this is an initiative of it department that is income tax department for income tax returns export ban on onions so recently central government removed the ban on the export of all kind of onions second is icc awards of the dk so recently icc announced these awards now there is a long list so i will put this list on telegram channel just go through it before exam now let me discuss only most important one so first is icc spirit of cricket award so for this decade msd that is mahendra singh dhoni was selected for this award for sir garfield sobers award present indian captain virat kohli has been selected for odi also that is one day international matches he has been selected for t20 cricketer of the decade Rashid Khan has been selected and for test player of the decade in male category Steve Smith has been selected so this was for male category except this one this one was overall selection in female category ODI cricketer of the year is Alice Parry she is from Australia now she was the ODI cricketer of the decade she was the T20 cricketer of the decade plus she was the ICC female cricketer of the decade for Rachel Heho Flint Award next is regular supplier status so recently Jindal Steel Power Limited got the status of regular supplier from Indian Railways and it is the first private company to get this status so it is first private company next is history of Sikh gurus so now Uttar Pradesh government has decided to include the history of Sikh gurus in the school syllabus next is bashan char island so this is related to bangladesh and bangladesh is shifting rohingyas on this island now this is quite controversial as environment activists are saying that this island is prone to flood next is greater visakhapatnam municipal corporation so recently moh ua that is ministry of housing and urban affairs announced annual awards for excellence in urban areas that means the awards were announced for the best performing civic body and for this greater visakhapatnam municipal corporation was selected as the best performing civic body next is ins sindhuveer submarine so recently india handed over the submarine to myanmar and this is the first submarine of myanmar and this submarine has been refurbished by hsl that is hindustan shipyard limited and this hsl is based in visakhapatnam next is adopt a heritage project so under this project different heritage sports are adopted so under this project different heritage sites are adopted for the proper maintenance and to ensure that all the basic facilities are provided so recently tourism affairs minister attended a review meeting for this project so it is related to mot that is ministry of tourism next is international day of epidemic preparedness so this was on 27th of december and this was the first international day of epidemic preparedness next is yaugan 33r so this is a satellite 
it is launched by China and it is remote sensing satellite. Next is Pare Samadhan. So this is an initiative by West Bengal. It is Grivan's redressal mechanism. Next is Skyros. So this is going to be a joint exercise between India and France. Next is dry run of vaccine. So this is a process to test the preparation of entire process of vaccination. So recently this dry run of vaccine was conducted in four states. Assam, Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat and Punjab. Last is Delhi Metro. So recently Delhi Metro was in use because Prime Minister flagged off first ever fully automated driverless train service. And this was launched on the Magenta line of Delhi Metro. Recently Bhutan was also in use as it formalized ties with Israel. Bhutan was also in use as recently India signed Memorandum of Understanding with India to enhance the cooperation for outer space. For space activities, India and Bhutan are going to cooperate. One more thing, please try to cover these news events in a proper manner because most of the test questions are framed from these events. So try to revise these properly. Next is Global Pravasi Rista Portal. So this is a portal which has been launched by MEA, that is Ministry of External Affairs, to connect with Indian diaspora. What is Indian diaspora? It means those Indians who are living in other countries. Next is K. Viramani. So, K. Viramani has been honored with Dr. Narendra Dabolkar Memorial Award. Next is Maybe Digital. So, this is a campaign which will be launched by MOHUA, that is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. And it will be launched for the street vendors to train them in receiving digital payments. Next is Arya Rajendran. So recently Arya Rajendran was in news as Arya Rajendran has been elected as the new mayor of Tiruvananthapuram. Tiruvananthapuram is in Kerala and Arya Rajendran became the India's youngest mayor. Next is Sunil Kothari. So Sunil Kothari was veteran dance historian. He passed away recently. Next is Unicash. So Unicash is world's first crypto bank. Recently, it was launched in India and for this, there was a joint venture and it is a joint venture between Kasha of UK and United Multi-State Credit Cooperative Society of India. So the world's first crypto friendly, crypto stands for cryptocurrency. So world's first crypto friendly branch was started in Jaipur and it is in Rajasthan. Next is Estonia, Paragwe and Dominican Republic. So recently India gave approval and now in these three countries India is going to open new Indian mission. Next is Sahayak NG. So recently DRDO along with Indian Navy successfully tested this Sahayak NG and it is India's first indigenous designed and developed air dropped container and it was tested from IL38SD. Now few important things. First is what is the meaning of this term indigenous? Indigenous means made in India. So we developed this and this is first indigenous air dropped container. This has been done by DRDO. DRDO is under defense ministry. Next is AFSPA that is Armed Forces Special Powers Act of 1958. Why it was in use? Because the entire state of Nagaland has been declared as disturbed area under this act. Next is the Han Foundation. So recently education minister Ramesh Nishank laid the foundation stone of this Tihan Foundation at IIT Hyderabad. Tihan stands for Technology Innovation Hub on Autonomous Navigation Systems. So it is India's first, please remember this, it is India's first test bed for autonomous navigation systems. Next is a bill to abolish all state-run madrasas. So recently this bill was in news and it is related to Assam. So Assam government was in news as recently a bill was introduced in Assam to abolish all state-run madrasas and these will be converted in regular schools. Next is Mailadu Turai. So this is the new district and this is in Tamil Nadu. This is going to be 38th district of Tamil Nadu. Next is solar power policy. So recently Gujarat government announced this solar power policy and it is a policy for next five years. The objective of this policy is to reduce the emphasis on conventional sources of energy and to focus more on the solar energy. And by focusing more on the solar energy, the idea is to reduce the cost of power of industrial units by almost 50%. Next is Nikita Hakimov. So recently, C was in news 
as BWF, that is Badminton World Federation, has imposed a ban of five years on Nikita Kakimo, and she is a Russian player. Since the ban has been imposed by Badminton World Federation, obviously the player is associated to badminton. Next is Digital Ocean. So recently, this new initiative was launched by Dr. Harshvardhan, and it is an initiative of Ministry of Earth Sciences. So this is a web-based application for the information of ocean. So it is a digital platform for ocean data management, and it has been developed by I N. C O I S that is Indian National Centre for Ocean Information Services and it is also Hyderabad based. So this is a platform for the ocean related information. Next is Knighthood in the UK New Year's Honours. So recently Lewis Hamilton was in news as he has been awarded Knighthood in the UK New Year's Honours list. Next is I U C that is Interconnect Uses Charges. So from first of January Reliance Jio. Has announced that it will offer free voice calls to any network for domestic calls, and it has removed these IUC, that is interconnect usage charges. Next is digital res registration of fast tags. So for the fast tags, ICICI Bank has collaborated with Google, and it is the first bank to join hands with Google Pay for the issuance of fast tags. Please note that now fast tags are mandatory for four wheelers. Next is Numosil. So it is India's first indigenous pneumonia vaccine, and it has been developed by SII, that is Serum Institute of India. Next is Dr. Hemant Kumar Pandey. So Dr. Pandey was in news as he has been conferred as the Scientist of Year Award for 2018, and it was given by DRDO, that is Defence Research and Development Organisation. Why he was selected for this award? Because of leukoskin. So leukoskin is a herbal medicine, and it is useful for the treatment of leukoderma. And Dr. Hemant Kumar Pandey played a key role in the development of this medicine. So that was all for the day. Thank you.